Hi. What? She's giggling. You're, you're on <laughs> film now. <Hannah. laughs> her, her, her little fingers are on film. Yep. <laughs> she was too, 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 too into herself. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's good. So yeah. Like that. uh -huh. Hi, Kendra. Hi, Joan. I'm getting there, guys. Oh, dear. Hi. Huh. For think some reason, I'm I am not showing up as live. Oh. Well, well, you we're off. I was gonna say you oh, must. There we go. I'm when, uh, I'm sorry. I need to tell Hannah this because she hasn't noticed this before. Because it, we were watching in Streamlab, Streamyard last time, so she didn't experience this. But YouTube is a good ten seconds behind. Oh yeah, at least. Mm -hmm. So everything you say and do shows up on camera later. But you don't need to hesitate. Just keep doing what you're doing. But it just seems way out of sync from what's on the camera. Okay. Thank you for the warning. You're welcome. Which, which is really funny too because um, I can't even. I'm I'm not even showing myself live yet. I mean, I don't have. No, you just got us up there. There we go. Well, oh no! Well, I just got you up there I for the moment. Showing myself Hi, Ruth. Yet. Okay. There we go. All right. Hi, Patricia. <laughs> And Ruth and Joan and Kendra. Hi, guys. Patricia and Hi. Diana. Hello. Hi, Diana. Okay, let me get this trim yard back up. Let me look at my. I'm just not gonna look at it. <laughs> okay, that's fine. <laughs> that, um, that works, Hannah. That that's sometimes what I do when I'm live because just a normal live. I lag, and I'm so glad my internet got fixed, guys. Um, last night I had an upload speed of one. <laughs> oh my goodness! Oh yeah, it was it was. I we rebooted the router a couple of times, and then I got online, and sure enough, we had some kind of outage. It promised it was going to be fixed, Do you have but any more uh, stuff like that. Was she like this? In the bottom pocket, right there. Um, well, we, you know, we got that upgrade mm -hmm. in our internet and we haven't noticed very much of an upgrade at all in our download speed, but our upload speeds are running about 20 to 25 now. Oh, that's awesome. I know. Yeah. Um, so. download speed, Do you have any a lot of the companies seem to think download speed is the only thing that you care about. Um, yeah, so that's what it takes to stream and play games and all that kind of stuff. Yeah. And what um, we had before download wise was fine. So, uh, we don't care that that didn't really go up, but I was happy that the upload speed went up. Yeah. Because, so. cheaper um, even with 10, I sometimes have problems. Yeah. Mostly we're happy. It's cheaper now. That's right. okay. <laughs> what Hannah said. And that's true. That's, that's true. So, so. We probably better wait just a few minutes because it's not quite noon yet. Okay. So you decided to wax your stuff this time? Yeah, it won't fray badly if it's waxed. Okay. Well then I'm gonna I'm gonna wax some too. And while um, we're waiting. Hannah, about how much thread do you think I need? More than you think. Much <laughs> more than you think. Well, last time we did twelve generous links okay. of the book. Mm -hmm. And it wasn't enough. And then we had to do quite a bit more so okay. um if you're gonna if you're gonna wax your thread you know wax extra but i'm just waxing this whole thing <laughs> well i've got wax linen so that's yeah what I'm gonna use. Oh, um, well i wanted to use this red so i'm mm -hmm. gonna have to wax mine well and um i'm going to um do two separate spaces i'm gonna do two at a time ah that'll make it easier you won't have um, to have as long yeah, I won't have to have quite as long. Um, Hannah, should I start in the middle or on the corners? Since I'm going to um, do two. I'd start on the corners just so that you can have the signatures tacked down. Ah, that's and they a won't good slide idea. around. Very good point. 
Oh, there it's so tangled. I have to wind it back up again. Yeah, I know. I was just wondering if it was worth it. Do I want um, red that badly? <laughs> I want blue that okay. badly. Was that, okay. Was that no, not um, pearl cotton? Mm -hmm. it's, this is, um, I think it is pearl cotton. It's DMC. Okay. I would have, I, if I had realized ahead of time, I would have suggested you do something different. Um, okay. Yeah, well, I can do something different. I just was getting it because it was pretty. No, 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 no. I mean, I would have suggested a way to open that. <laughs> oh, well, it okay. had already been opened. And oh, okay. So it I was a mess it. already. All right. It's just a worse mess now. <laughs> well, that's okay, Diana. Um, that's that's the best thing is to watch and listen and, and not try to. Yeah, you can do it anytime. So you don't mm -hmm. have to do it right this minute. And Patricia wants to know, Hannah, how your baby bird is. No clue. He disappeared, so we're assuming that his mama took care of him. Okay. I would rather assume that than something else. So. That's that's right. That's absolutely right. We that had I had one good. fly into the studio window the other day. Um and Jeff went out to check on it and it was moving around. So he just left it be where it was. Yeah. You know, that's just. We have them fly into our living room. We have this big, like, plate glass kind of window, you know, that, mm -hmm. um, in the living room. And they do that all the time. Birds are always flying into that, but they're, all, they're always gone when we go out there to look. So it doesn't kill them, evidently. But, but like, random funks in the morning. Like, yeah. It's like, yeah. Funk, you know, and it's you're like, I know that was a bird hitting that window because <laughs> I don't know what else it would be. Okay. Okay, so I'm guessing. Okay, we, if you've got six signatures, you have to have six lengths for every Whoa. hole. Yeah. Well, so you would need six lengths for each side. Yeah. Because we had to go back and forth. Uh huh. Because we were doubling it. And because we were doubling it. Right. So. And um, and we probably needed, you know, and we definitely needed more than the twelve. But um, we, we just added some more in, in the middle. I think I have super tangling powers. <laughs> I think you do too. Yours looks even worse than mine. I like that power though, because that, that's what we all seem to have. Super tangling that's, powers. <laughs> super tangling powers, yes. I think that's a, that's a way, really, way good way to look at it. I think what I'm going to do is like count 10 lengths for each side. So I'm going to do... So there's probably my 12 links. I think it's better to go ahead and switch in the middle than to have, you know, 20 links. <laughs> oh, yeah. Um, that's always true. Um, Mindy's here. Hi, Mindy. Hello, here. Um, guys, what we're doing right now, and I'm going to go back to the two of us. Um, what we're doing right now is just cutting our thread and getting our needles um, ready. Um, we discussed this last time. I'm going to, I'm not going to do the stitch in the middle the way that, um, that Hannah did it in the first video and Lisa did it in her first video. There was a long thread yeah. in the middle of the book. Let me show you the, let me get a little closer. I, what it looks like in yeah. the, um, let me get you big. Hun. Okay. There you go. And I didn't get this one really tight, but right here is the long stitch she's going to not have. She's just going to have these stitches over here and these stitches over here, but not this one. Since I have so many more stitches this time, I'm going to do it the way I did it last time. Just because you would need three pieces of thread. And yeah. Two would be Hannah's going to do two over here and two over here and then these four in the middle. Right. So her length will be shorter this time. The, the op you know, the long open lengths. Um, and I'm just going to go ahead and do it like we did last time so that one of us is. Okay. If I, now I've got this. I need another length of thread here so I can add to it in a minute. When I get to that point and I can't, I, I have super tangling powers too. At least your mom's the husband. <laughs> like this is truly top shelf stuff. <laughs> Janet's here. Hello, Janet. Hi, Janet. 
Hi. <laughs> yes, Joan, I'm here. Um, I'm. The big problem is, is if I put it on the two of us the way we do it sometimes, you can't see what Hannah is doing. So um, I'll probably be leaving Lisa and Hannah large most of the time just so that um, you can see what they're doing uh, and then just popping myself in once in a while. Um, that way they're, because they're kind of, they know what they're doing and I don't. <laughs> <laughs> well, we, we hope we remember what we're doing. Well, just because um, we've done it a couple of, well, Hannah's done it several times. I've only done it once, but that um, doesn't necessarily mean we know what we're doing. But we're going to try. I was going to go Oops. over the, um, I was going to watch a couple of Copic Stitch videos yesterday. Yeah. And Saturday and Sunday. And it we have had stuff with the, that house every single day that has done what it did to me this morning. Uh, so even this morning, I should have been back by about 8.30, quarter to nine. And I didn't get home until um, about quarter to 11. So, you know, it was just, it's just been like that. It just, if it's going to be one thing, it's going to be another. So that's okay. Um, well, so the one that we watched and we linked it um, in the video that Hannah and I did, the prep video, mm -hmm. is to see lemon. Yes. And she, um, some, there are different ways to put the covers on, and we're doing it the way she did it. Okay. Um, the covers. Uh, um, we have a book that also does cuff binding where you put both covers on afterwards. Oh, okay. But then you wrap around the binding places on the spine and you lose that braided look. Oh, so I we didn't want to do that. This. Yeah, I like <laughs> the braided look too. So I'm, I'm glad we've, you picked that. We've got Hannah's um, Chromebook out here so we can pull it up and look at it real quick. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's a really good idea. The other, the, thing, the other thing was is I was going to hug up my um, curved needles you, oh yeah and hannah um, tried the last one without the curved needle and she said it was definitely easier to do it with the curved needles right so. and i did not oh, want to plan do you want to show them what we're talking about by a curved needle hello mary it looks like well you don't have your yeah it looks like this put your hand under it everything there you go there you go do you think that's enough Hi, and it's an up upholstery needle yeah yeah i don't know probably i thought upholstery needles were like six inches long it, well some it, of them are they're different kinds um uh we were discussing a mattress needle with my friends sunday night and uh, because her dad used to own a uh, furniture store uh -huh. and uh they picked up a piece of furniture a roll top desk and her husband reached into the roll top desk to, to deal with some stuff and this mattress needle stabbed him in the hand. It was oh, my goodness. long. Yeah. Because my mom had, had one of those that she did um, like the backs of when she would upholster a couch. Yep. She would put the, you know, the buttons in the back of the couch yep. with yep. it. Yeah. Yeah. That, um, that's a needle. All right. Okay. Woo. I'm just going to wax this whole length I have right here. Okay. <clears throat> the girls are waxing their thread, guys. I have wax linen. Um, oh, you can't see me at all. Let's see here. I'll go back to this one for a little yeah. while. Um, do, do I have that. wax linen and um, I have plenty of it. So that is what I'm using. Um, I'm going to be very boring. I did not get the pieces made for my cover that I really wanted to make, but that's the way it goes. I will finish it up. Um, I wanted to make a piece of faux leather and then I'm going to put a piece of that cork on the front cover as sort of a decoration. So I will tell you that when you use thread of any sort, it is always best if it's coming off a spool like this one, that you thread the needle with the end that came off the spool. Okay. Um, the way thread has a twist to it, especially like if you're hand sewing and you're using sewing thread, 
thread it, thread your needle, and then cut your piece of thread loose because that way you'll know that. Um, the thread is twisted on purpose, one direction, and it's much easier if you um, thread your needle that way. Hello, Barb and Laura. And if it, we've missed anybody else coming in, I'm sorry. I apologize. Hello, all. And Mary, thank you, Barb, Hannah. Laura. It's good to see you all. What you do, Hannah? I take so. Oh, okay. How are you liking your new headphones, dear? Um, well, I like them okay. I just I can't use them right now because Hannah and I both have to have headphones. And if yep. I put the Bluetooth on, then her headphones don't work. So. Ah, okay. So I'm stuck with a cord again today, but um, that's okay. I figured out that I could use those Bluetooth headphone uh, earbuds and I could just put one in one ear and then later I could put one in the other ear and instead of um, having them on. The instead of time. having a, Yeah. And that way that I could let each ear rest. And so I could wear them longer that way. That's a good idea. I hadn't thought of that. So when I figured oh. out that, that made me happy. <laughs> the, Skull, the Skull Candy um, headphones are the, the little ones that I use all the time, you know, for my phone and, and like things like that. Because they have smaller, the earpiece is actually smaller. So, yeah. so it fits in my ear a little better. Yeah, no. they have those adjustable things you can pick a size and I have right. to use the smallest one. <laughs> me too. Me too. Okay, my my needle is now packed full of, of um, wax in that thing where I slid my thread down. <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay, so I'm I'm going to just, mine's not, but it's not. I'm going to stick it right there until Miss Hannah tells us what we do first. Okay. Well, she's still threading. Oh, that's I mean, fine. I'm just, I'm just, waxing. I'm just putting my needles where I don't lose them because you know the way today is going. <clears throat> I could easily lose them. Hi, Lori. It's good to have you here. I think this would be a pretty efficient way to solve wax and wax and block of wax in half. <laughs> well, you could wax your thread and saw your wax in half at the same time. There you go. Hannah's it's waxing the thread with this really big piece of wax <laughs> i have a big chunk kind of like that too um that jewelry wax you yeah know, this jewelry. is just beeswax so yeah jewelry thread well this is just um manufactured it's actually not wax so wax. um just for information purposes while they're waxing their thread and doing their things uh i i wanted to have the video up for tonight <laughs> um so that it would it would post tonight after um, we got finished. And due to the fact that I had very bad internet, I tried for over an hour and a half to upload a 10-minute video. Oh, um, goodness. Oh, yeah. I, I finally just went to bed. Um, <coughs> anyways, it will post tomorrow morning. The, the information for um, next month will post tomorrow morning on my channel. Um, September 3rd and September 17th, and because Lisa has Sturry Duty on the 3rd, poor child, um, we will do it in the evening on those two Tuesdays. I will not be here on the 17th, I don't think. I don't, it will all depend. If I can get internet, I'll be here to, I may not be able to play completely, but I can be there to just chat. All right, we've got Nettie is here and Joie de Fee. Hi, Joey. I'm glad you're here. And see who else came in. I thought I saw somebody else come in. Uh, Lori's here. I didn't see Lori pop in earlier. Hello. I think I said hello to Mary. So and I'm you glad you're all here. Yes, we are. We're, <laughs> Hannah, have you got your stuff waxed? Yeah. Okay, so... Oh, she's got her getting her needle threaded. Okay, the first thing that we did was we made a template of our cover, and um, I haven't actually poked holes in the template. I just put it on here, and we flushed it up against the edge of our signatures so that we can mark our signatures. So that's where we're going to start. Okay, so I did not do that. Yet. Okay. And um, 
and what I'm going to do is just look down from that line and just mark straight down. Well, as straight as I can get it. <laughs> okay. So I should have may actually put these on here as a. Is that how we did it last time, Hannah? Yeah. Okay. Just I start working and then I think, oh, maybe that's not what we did last time. Mm. Well, we did. I don't think you made a template the first time. No, we didn't. No, we no. just measured and marked one, and then we then we worked I, all the I way think down. I think Hannah's idea of doing the template though really makes it a lot easier. Especially Hannah, show them your hold your um, book up so that they can see your fanciness over there. See how pretty that that binding is going to be, guys, and without a template it would be a little harder to um get your holes all lined up in them and hannah's laughing because the template was really your idea you just didn't know you had it <laughs> oh okay well you made that square and then hannah the decided yeah i mean i dropped the pattern but i wasn't planning to punch my holes through it yeah that just kind of happened yeah uh -huh. okay okay yeah. so it was, a, it was a tanya and hannah thing what happened there we go well, Hannah gave me the idea of that. How about that? She so much gave me the idea. Mm -hmm. Now, I have a question. Go over here. Okay, just use the white okay. stuff. Yeah. Now, wouldn't it be a good idea to get all of these lines on here if I put my little clippy on the middle? What? Yeah. I mean, we, I, we clipped them on both sides. Okay. Put it in the middle would be fine too. The point all right. Is just, to hold them together. just hold them in place so that you could mark all the way up and down. Okay. All right. But well, I put my clippies, you know, on on the back. Oh, on the part. sides. I see what yeah. you Yeah. But you okay. could do it right here. That'd be just as good. The big issue is, is having more than one clip, and I only have one clip. So. Yeah. Um, I thought I had dozens of these, but for some reason I can't find any big ones. So I don't know what happened to them. They've gone off to Never Never Land. Now, okay. my template hangs over about mm, an eighth of an inch on each end. That Because yeah. my, it's the same size as my cover. So as the cover. Right. Yeah, ours does that too. All the way around the edges, except for the except for where you're going to do the Coptic binding. It's okay. flush there, but it hangs out everywhere else. Okay. Yeah. The view where you marked and how, please. Okay, um, Mary, I marked, um, it's three quarters of an inch in from the point for the first hole, and then half an inch in for each hole after that, and I did that from both sides, and then I marked in half an inch, three quarters of an inch, one inch, and one and a quarter of an inch to make that kind of pattern. Let me get Lisa big so that you can see what she's got. A minute, I got him. There we go. Okay, I did basically what Tanya did from the template. It's three quarters of an inch, uh, so it'd be three quarters of an inch from your cover. Yeah. But your signatures will not be three quarters of an inch. No. And then we did every half inch, but we went to a quarter inch, a half inch, three quarters, and one inch is how we did this one. On this one, Hannah did a half inch from the end, and she did two of those at, and they're about a quarter inch up on each side. And then she just drew what she wanted here and tried to make them even. Yeah, it's not terribly. It's not perfectly well precise. Out, it's it just, just it eyeballed it mostly. <laughs> yeah, she just okay. wanted it to be pretty, and she thought that would be pretty. So, so she's gonna do do a hole here, 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 and here. So it'll be that kind of a look. And then these two are just kind of stabilizers. And review the, it, the, the, it's a quarter inch, half inch, three quarters, and one, because that is actually what I did. I said it wrong. Um, yeah. I just measured it. And the first hole is only a quarter of an inch in from the edge. Yeah. It just looks bigger than it anything. just looks bigger than a quarter yeah, of an inch. <laughs> it does. It really does look bigger than a quarter of an inch. Yeah. Ours looks bigger too. 
but I, I I just measured mine a few and, minutes ago, so that's how I know exact. I knew for sure what it was. But. Right, and that's the, and and you're only that's for punching the holes in the cover. In the cover, not, not for punching the holes in your signature. When you after you where you've got those lines coming down on your template, that's where you just go down with the pencil and mark your signatures. This minute, now go big and show that. Okay. See, this is where my lines come to the edge and then I'm just turning the whole block my my text block as it would be called right yes I hope I turned it yes, like this right and then I took my pencil and I just came down from wherever that line is I just came down and came across okay. and those are where I'm going to put my hole Oops, be careful. Right How there. do Hannah's center stitch up? What? Uh, uh, well, that, that fancy stitch will only be on the, you'll only see it on the cover. On the signatures, it'll, the signatures will be done just like these, except she'll have these in the middle. She hasn't marked them yet, but the signatures will be two and four and two, but this stuff will only be on the cover just like this is only on the cover and the signatures are all done flush. In other words, Mary, when the, when the, this is, let me go here. When the needle goes in and out of each signature, it will be just kind of like you're doing a pamphlet stitch. And it's not the same in any way, shape or form on, on where the needle goes, but on the inside of the signature, and I'm gonna go ahead and open one. Um, at, Lisa, have you got your book handy? Can you show the inside of your signature? Yeah, just a second. Okay, the inside of the signature will look like it does for a pamphlet stitch. And Lisa, Sorry, I just gonna... needed to do my thread there. Separate thread. Okay. Um, trying to find one that would be See, so you just you just see the three stitches here, three stitches there, and one long stitch in the middle. The way I'm doing it, the way Hannah's going to do it, there'll be two stitches here, two stitches here, and then five stitches in the middle. Mm -hmm. And the way Tanya's doing it, you'll just have the three stitches here and the three stitches here, and nothing in the middle. Right. So we're going to be doing it several different ways, but but they're all done with the Coptic stitch. And so. they're all, and so. Basically, they're all the same stitch. It's just we're going to use different numbers of threads. Is the right. Meaning. And different, um, different, I guess, decoration. <laughs> we're, we're going to, I'm going to leave you guys big so that Hannah can start us when she's ready. That's the, oh, no, we have to punch holes, don't we? Yeah, we have to punch holes. Okay. So what we have to do now is punch all of these holes in our signatures. So each place that we put a little dot by drawing our, our pencil mark, we have to punch a little hole. So we have to pull out the... Oh, and um, Hannah says you need to mark an arrow at one end mm -hmm. and call that your up end. And then, um, and then after you, then you fold it, throw, turn it over and make that the bottom signature. So you're working your way up. Is that right, Hannah? Yeah. Okay. Um, can you explain why we do that? Uh, um, uh, now these binding holes are pretty straight, but um, uh, they aren't perfectly symmetrical in the distance apart from them because people drew them um so if you keep them all facing one side then they'll always line up properly like um like uh, this one see is a bit closer this space between these two is closer than the space between these two yeah so you need them to be facing the same way and then if your line isn't perfectly straight on the way down having them stacked in the same order means they'll still be a line even if it like tilts a bit or something. 
Okay. Through the hole you're using. I don't know. It's so it's, just it's similar to when you make a template for holes, you say this is the top end mm -hmm. of your template for a signature. Mostly keep everything in order. Okay. Okay. I, I'm done. The other thing is, is what she's saying is that as, as I made that line, wait just a minute, I, um, as I made this pencil line with these marks, I could have taken my pencil just a little crooked. If I take that little crooked bit, if I, as long as I keep everything in order, then my stitches will line up and visually look fine. But yeah, if yes. I turn one of these signatures and put it like back here, then my line is not going to be straight. No. So that's that's another part of what she's saying. Yes. Um, okay, now I have a question. I punched my holes with my fancy dancy little hole punch. Can I do that on my signatures? No, because this hole punch won't breach. Right, that's but what I was going to say. You, you're going to have to punch my, holes the old fashioned way on your signatures. Yeah, if I had my other hole punch, it would. I don't know where that one's at, though. Apparently, the crazy, scary way I do it. Oh, um, she, she just sticks it through her, her hand, right? <clears throat> what? <laughs> she said this crazy, scary way. I said, you're sticking it through your hand. No, it's just a mom usually does it in the center of the phone book. Yeah, and Hannah just does it straight into her mat. And then oh. she goes back through from the other side in her hand. But the original um, holes come into the mat. I see. Okay. Well, I started putting a mat in my under my phone book because look at my phone book. That's, that's why I have started putting the mat under my phone book because I'm afraid that my phone book is yeah. going to get... Um, my phone when, book's looking kind of the same way. Yeah. <laughs> and phone books are hard to come by. Yes, they are. And the ones they give you now when you do find them are skinny little things. Yep. Mm -hmm. There's one at my father-in-law's house that, you know, someday it's going to be mine. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe you should just um, uh, go to the thrift store and buy a big old dictionary. Yeah. There you go. Oh, Those are still yeah, well, I probably have 500 books in my stash. I should just do that. Yeah. Um, why, do, why did we not think of that, Lisa? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> <sighs> Hannah, it's a good thing I marked that corner because I just turned it a different direction. <laughs> well, when you're punching your holes, you know, and I've got all of these way off compared to um, that's really far off. Maybe you should just use the phone book. I think I need to use the phone book, yeah. All right, so this one was my top. I also usually punch from the inside to the outside, so this is kind of an odd way for me to. It is for me too, and it's not working very well for me to well, do it this way. But I'm going to go ahead and do it anyway because it turned out fine last time, even though I had trouble with it punching yeah. my holes. The phone book helps a lot. Cover stitches does first and pop to stitch down through the signatures. Yes, Mary, something like that. We'll be sure to show you um, when we especially, get it found. Especially Hannah's because um, that really pretty design, it, those pretty designs really show up quite often on Coptic stitch books and Coptic stitch books lay flat. That's the big part of why they are so popular. Are so popular. Yeah. Looks like 
And of course, once you start poking holes in there, they don't want to stay folded. That is true. That's why I keep a little bitty clamp on the. <laughs> on oh, my. That, that would be a good idea. I could just do a little bitty clamp. I was there. just thinking I don't have enough. Apparently, I don't care if things stay together. <laughs> You're just better at keeping them together than I am, I think. Or more comfortable with disorder. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Kendra. Yes. Mm -hmm. Just no, no poking any. Um, I've, I've given all the blood that you need to give for today, okay? Uh, well, I haven't given any blood today, but I don't intend to. <laughs> four, four little vials was all I, I, I think that was more than enough. I don't know what she's running, but dang, did she, did that vampire lady run a lot of blood this morning? <laughs> I doubt the technician was an actual vampire. Oh, you don't think so. I think but just that, because it would be highly unethical to hire somebody like that. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, yes, but you know. Uh huh. Okay. That's a good one. Hannah Mary said she really likes your the center of your book. That it's very creative. Thank you. Um, I've seen some that are pretty wild. that are really cool looking. Not triangle shaped books. I'm like, you know, normal rectangles. But they like to have big curvy patterns on the spine made from the cover oh. attachments. See, you now know? you're making us all want to do a, a, tr a regular rectangle shaped book with big curvy line. Well, I want to do more stitching. books with this fabric that I got. Oh my gosh. Did this... this I'm just in love with this fabric. And I went back, they had one more piece of it that was tan. And then the other pieces uh, that were there were gone, except for a piece that's not the leather. It's more of a, kind of closer to velvet, which I did get, of course. I said that would be interesting. Yes, it will be, a, it will be pretty covers. Um, I don't know. Some upholstery shop had to have donated those fabrics because I can't imagine a private person would have had so many in such a similar kind of um, texture. I mean, there was there was too many colors to say be doing two different colors in a lit in a dining room or something like that. It just but I should have bought them all the first day, but I was being a good girl and not buying everything under the sun. And uh, that was just, shouldn't have done that, shouldn't have bought them. <laughs> I, I usually know that when I see something I really want, I should just go ahead and get it because it's going to irritate me until I do. Yeah. And you're going to go back and try to get it again anyway. <laughs> and it may or may not be there. Well, and I couldn't go back for almost a week, so it they were gone. Hi, Barbara. The hard thing me. is, sometimes you see something like that and you think, I have no idea what I would do with this. So you don't get it. And then you get home and you start thinking and you're like, oh, I could do no, 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 no. And then you, you know, go back and it's gone. That's that's it. Uh huh. It, it's 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 kind of like okay. If this interests me, I need to go ahead and just get it. Yeah. <laughs> now the problem is, is you know, I have enough fabric in my stash to last sixteen lifetimes, <laughs> and I'm not kidding. And so then to add another piece of fabric, it's just I don't have any fabric like that. <laughs> there you go. So. Okay. Okay. You ready? Well, let, almost. Let me make I've got my holes all punched in my signatures, but now I've got to do my, um, Ooh, I'm going to lose them. This is kind of slicky paper that I've got here. Now I've got to do my, um, cover. Now I did use my, um, 
handheld hole punch to do the cover. Well, I'm going to try it and see if I can do it. And I think Hannah was going to try it too and see if it'll go through her leather. <laughs> Since it went through your leather stuff, she's yeah. hoping maybe it will. Well, the other problem with Hannah's is she's got the one. Um, oh, those ones in the middle, she couldn't reach anyway. Right. Now, I do have a hole punch like that that is a long hole punch. Hi, Annie. These two. Yeah. And maybe that one, if you can name it correctly. I don't know. Well, thank you, Annie. That tag was not my favorite, but that's okay. It's, you know. <laughs> I'm going to tell you what, I made a tag um, yesterday, one of my tags, I made, and it is too cute. All makes sense when I'm done. It will all make sense when she's done, okay. <laughs> Sounded like she's trying to comfort herself with that statement, <laughs> which is a little scary for me since okay, she's the one who knows what you're doing. How far... In, oh, from the spine, do you make the holes for the cover? Okay, let me get my template back out here. Okay. Depends on where you want them. That's right. Show show yours, Lisa. Um, mine start at one quarter inch away from the spine and then half an inch, three quarters of an inch, and one inch away from the spine. Quarter inch, half inch, three quarters inch, one inch. That's how far mine are from the spine. Hannah's are these two will be a quarter of an inch away and these two will be a quarter of an inch away from the spine and then these are way up here so this one's like one inch and maybe one and three quarters inches and two and a half inches something like that I eyeballed. she eyeballed it she didn't measure so and and that's the nice thing about the way this stitch goes on um like Hannah was saying, making a curved line or something, you can just, the cover stitches can be wherever sort of you want them, and the book will still lay flat. It's the fact that you do the signature stitches in a different manner. Now, since we have a template, Hannah, I'm assuming I can go ahead and go ahead and punch the back cover, right? Yes. <clears throat> Okay. Last time we did it the hard way. Yeah, we did it the hard way last time where you you get all the signatures on there but the last one and then you run run your holes into your bottom cover or top cover or whichever it is. Oh, we're um, still doing it. No, no. We're punching the holes now, but we're still putting the last cover on with top signature right, and all that mess. Right. We're just punching the holes now yeah. instead of at the end like we did last time. I think a template's a really good idea. I do too. I'm glad you and Hannah conspired to make that happen. Yeah. Well, and the only thing we did to make the template, guys, was we took our cover. Um, when when we were getting when we were before we even covered the cover, we took our cover piece of cardboard, laid it on a piece of paper, and actually drew around it and made an actual piece of paper that we could then put our whole lines in and everything to make a template. Hannah was drawing off a design, which made me think of making an actual template. So Lucy is here. Lucy, hi, Lucy. Hi, Lucy. Yes, we're going to use the Coptic stitch to sew this all together. We're just doing all the preliminaries right now. <laughs> yes. And, and so, Hannah, I have my cover holes punched and I have my signature holes punched. That's as far as I need to go, right? Yes. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> she means she's ready when you are to show her how to go forth from no, there. No, that's I'm good. I'm good. She can have all the time she needs. <laughs> she's I, almost ready. She's on I her last signature. I have a funny feeling I'm going to make a big old mess today. I also got up. We're, we're having very nasty, rainy, foggy, kind of crappy weather. Excuse my French. And so I got up with eyeballs that are so stuck together that they're unreal. So I can't see real well. 
Well, I woke up to thunder, tons of thunder, and I just knew we were getting a good rain. And I went outside and nothing, not even a drip. Real? <laughs> it was just thunder. Oh. Well, it's been raining here um, every day. And when it comes down, it comes down like, oh, it was horrible. Trying to go to town this morning, I hit a puddle that actually went up over the roof of the car. That's what I was driving in last Friday when Dad's house got hit with lightning. Okay, Lucy says she loves this Coptic stitch, but she tends to stitch it too tight. So is that something we need to watch for? Probably. I don't believe it's stitching too tight. Canada doesn't think you can stitch it too tight. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Maybe she just can't stitch it too tight. But we stitched it decently tight. I mean, we didn't try to make it as tight as we could but we just stitched it tightly and it worked out okay um it did you know it took a while for the book to flat flatten out it tends to want to do this a little bit mm -hmm. but um what it looks like on the back looks good and um and it will lay flat after you set it around for a while hold it up across the back we pressed it under something. Yeah, we pressed it under under something for a while after we got through. Mine was well, that's another thing is if you use a, um, a natural fiber to stitch it with, you will get um, some stretch in that fiber. Yeah, and we used cotton. Mm -hmm. So I know it all straightened out, but it's kind of hurting me. <laughs> yeah, don't look at it, Canna. <laughs> it's hurting all, her. All, all of my pages are, are not square which really you know kind of yeah it's kind of hurting you too yes it's hurting me too but i cut it down from big paper and i used my small cutter and they're not perfectly square so you know that's just the way it is and i'm not going to freak out about it all right hannah's poking holes in her cover now okay um mary's going to get something to eat and annie's eating up soup. I don't know why anyone can eat hot soup on a day like today, but that's, she's probably got as hot as we are. <laughs> well, if I'm going to eat soup, I want it to be hot. <laughs> well, me too, but I do not like gazpacho. Isn't that what's called? Soup? Yes, and I don't either. I've only tried it once, but it was what? Gazpacho. I think that's how you say it. Anyway, it's a cold soup. Uh, I think it's a pumpkin. Oh, well, um, it depends. The, um, the, the one my mother used to fix was uh, like tomatoes and um, tomatoes and cucumber and onions. Uh, Lucy says hers is tomato or gazpacho is tomato. Okay. Anyway, I had a cold soup once that I did not like. And, <laughs> and that's all I remember because I've only had it that once. <laughs> Hello, Holly. I was not very adventuresome as a, a an adventuresome eater as a teenager. Well, definitely not as a child. Um, but I would try something once, and <laughs> that, that was it. <laughs> if I didn't like it, I didn't try it again for years and years. I I didn't like that one enough. I've never tried it again. Well, you know, um, I have a son who's very allergic to a lot of things. Barbara Clark says, I just finished a batch of gazpacho and it was fabulous. <laughs> was she, summer. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad you enjoyed it, Barbara. We, we are. Everyone has their own taste. But That's great. right. And everybody great. deserves to eat whatever it is they, they want. <laughs> That's right. Brandon, Brandon is so allergic to so many foods and is not supposed to eat them. It's kind of the weirdest thing I've ever seen. And that kind of thing. So, you know, I figured... It was going to be hard to cook for him, and, and it would make him an even pickier eater. And as a grown up, that boy will try anything, and I mean anything, including tongue burritos and uh, any. Like they have tongues in them. Oh, beef tongue is actually very good. It's like eating steak. Um. Okay. <laughs> now I. I don't know what other animals they eat tongue best, but beef, beef, a beef, a cow tongue is is a very soft, chewy, nice piece of meat, like very much like steak. Um, hmm. 
I'll have to try it sometime. I see them in the grocery store all the time. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Not burritos, just tongue. The tongue. Um, now, <laughs> and I pop, think pop, pop, that in the burritos, you know, the meat is marinated, that kind of thing, too. Yeah. Hannah um, says she wonders if you could crock pocket, um, crock pot it. So oh, yes, I'm sure. Gonna, I'm sure you could uh, crock pot it. You and Dad were fasting a lot. And I had this funny realization that a pot of bubbling chicken feet on the counter was totally normal. <laughs> You don't need to tell everybody that. Well, um, <laughs> well they're for broth. It's not it was, weird. It was broth. It, it felt kind of weird I at the beginning. Chickens put soup in a restaurant. Yeah. Well, you get there is so much collagen That's in the right. feet that it's really, really good for you. But it's if you have a weak stomach, it looks kind of gross sitting in your crock pot. Well, <laughs> I thought it was scoop it what out, scoop it what out with your spoon is a little kind of weird too. But you know. Yeah, um, well, I don't scoop them out with my, I mean, we take them out, we just drink the soup. The right, chicken feet were long them. gone by then. Well, we and, and, you know, as a child, uh, we would get half a pig and half a cow every year. And because my aunt had extremely weird children and would not eat anything, um, mom always got the hog's head. And the the collagen and stuff you get out of a hog's head when you boil it is also really good for you. So, you know, I, I grew up with that stuff, so it doesn't bother me, but I never figured my kid would go anywhere and eat anything once. Now, he <laughs> still does not like summer squash, like yellow squash. Uh, yeah. He likes zucchini, but he still does not really like yellow squash. For some reason, there's something, some taste about the yellow squash he doesn't like. But I wonder if it's just... It has a, a less firm texture. I don't <laughs> For my know. kids, a lot of it is texture. It's texture. Yeah, well, that, that's of. why I can't. I cannot. I cannot get past having them in my mouth with lima beans. Oh yeah, me either. Lima yeah, beans, lima and butter beans. beans. It's like I'm talking in my mouth. So lima beans, beans butter beans. 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 They're they're um, they're just yucky. <laughs> um, yeah, Lois, we ate all that stuff when we were little because you know you ate it or you went hungry. That's right. Okay, Patricia says okay. stop with this conversation. Okay. Sorry, right, Patricia. <laughs> okay. We'll see where Hannah's at and if she's ready. She's she's almost finished punching her holes. Okay. So we're about ready to actually do what we said we were gonna do today. It's just funny to be in a conversation where I'm not the one. <laughs> You're not the one being gross. <laughs> um, Laura, I agree with you about the yellow squash. Yellow squash is all about what you put with it. Um, even fried, it has very little taste. I don't know. That's the only reason I ate it. Because it didn't have much taste? Yeah, I ate it raw a few times. And yeah. I thought it was perfectly decent. Oh, I like, <laughs> yeah, I like um, both zucchini and yellow squash raw. Um, we, I slice it up and we eat it kind of like a, a salad. Uh-huh. Um, I've put it in salad before, but I usually cook it. Hannah, do we okay? We're gonna start. Okay, when we marked our signatures with our arrows, we did it from the top down, right? What? We started with the top signature and worked our way down. So and yeah, and then we turned them over. Them over. So are we gonna pick up the bottom one? Yes. I'm okay. On the bottom of the book. And put it under the book. I'm done with all this punching. I think I made my holes a bit unnecessarily enormous. <laughs> they look like tiny bullet holes. Well, they ought to be Entry big wounds. enough. <laughs> exit wounds. They look like exit wounds. <laughs> Can I cover up with exit wounds? Okay. All right. Okay. So, sorry. <laughs> sorry. Don't be sorry. I think it's funny. I think it's very, very, very funny. Uh huh. Well, I think that was good. Okay. Mm -hmm. Let's end. Um, Laura, I had never heard of that one as an egg replacement, but that's a really good idea. Okay. 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 <laughs> We're okay. You got your thread. Hopefully under control. Okay. And on okay, so <laughs> when I have my bottom signature and my bottom <laughs> My, my back. I have my back and my bottom signature. I want my mark to be on the top side of it, correct? Uh, no. 
What did you just see? This mark. Yeah. She said it should be on the top. It should be next to the next to the cover, right? What does on the top mean? Up here. Okay. Up here, Hannah. I made myself big. Okay, I have my little mark. This is my back signature. When yes. I marked, I marked from the top down. So this was actually the top of my signature. So does it not lay? This is my back. Doesn't it lay like this with the mark? Yes. Oh. Yeah, that's how you lay it. So mine's, I've got mine backwards. Yeah, I always put my, wait, my arrow's up. Oh, wait, my arrow is up. <laughs> so your arrow is supposed to be up. Yeah. And okay. mine's not. Okay. Okay. So um, uh, what we did, what I did is that I drew all the holes and then I took the top one and then I marked the arrows and I punched the holes of the top signature and I flipped it over mm -hmm. and then I flipped each one over so that when I flip them back over by putting them on the book, the one that was on the top, which is on the bottom of this stack, will be on the top again. Okay. okay. It's more about right. keeping them in order than one being the top or bottom. Okay. Perfect. Okay. okay. So, um, Hannah, you need to kind of see if you can move right up here a little bit so you can show us what you're doing. Let, well, let me move the camera to you a little bit if we can. Oh, that helps a lot with so we can see her better. Okay. Okay. Um. Thank okay. you, Laura. I'm going to try that. Um, Brandon is allergic to eggs, so that's something that I had never tried as an egg substitute. So we're going to start from inside the signature and come out the first hole. Yes. Okay. And we have a ridiculously long piece of thread here, so. It's going to take a moment. <laughs> Maybe quite a bit. How much do we leave inside the signature? Um, tie a knot at the end of your double thread and pull right up to it. You don't want to leave any inside the signature that you don't absolutely need to. Um, give me a second and I'll be ready to show you. All right. That sounds nice. All right. So like tie that. a knot. Do we not tie this? Do we not tie it to something else later? No. Okay. Um, okay. Move back, back up there. You have kind of got. There we go. I can't believe I'm talking to myself after I've done. It's something. all right, Hannah. Just relax. So you just pull it all the way through. Um, Just like if you were starting to hem something or something, you just go all the way through it. I'm sorry. I'm having a hard time. <laughs> Once you get a couple of signatures in, it gets a lot easier. <laughs> okay. Now, okay. we go around from the bottom like this. And this is where my freaky holding technique apparently comes in. So you're coming in through the hole in the sit in the cover. Okay. Lisa, you need to um, put yourself in a little more too. So that there we go, both of you. There we go. Okay. So she said around. So you're coming. You come out the signature and you're going back in through the hole in your cover. And you want to try to come out on the right side of the knot. Come out on the right side of the knot. Of the okay. Hole. Come out on the right side of the hole like this. See? Can you see how I'm holding it? Gonna be pulling it out. So that you end up with a stitch across there and you're on the right side of it. Right? Like this, yes. Like that. Now you wrap around it once, which is what the curve Wait is. one second here. Okay. Okay, by the right side of it, you're telling me that when I come, it'll be the side closest to your body. It depends. On, okay, if you're holding it this way, but if I'm yeah, holding yeah. it this on way, I want to have my needle on the right side of the thread that comes out of the signature. Yes. Yes. Okay. That I thought so, but I wanted to be doubly sure. Okay. Gonna wrap around it, and then you go back under 
and wrap around that one that comes out of your cover. Okay. This is kind of locking the signature in place. And the reason you want to try and come out on the right side is that you're going to return. And I try to return on the side that's going to lead into the next hole. For oh, okay. Mm -hmm. I, I, okay, so. Then you go back into your signature. Yeah, and when you come out on the right side and you go around it, you end up kind of wrapping around it twice if you return on this side of the knot. See? Okay. Okay. Well, in that case, since I'm working two sides. You'll need to return on one of them on the right and one of them on the left. <laughs> until you get to the next signature when everything is reversed. <laughs> Okay, I got a tangle here. Well, I do go all the way around that thread before I go back into the hole. Yes. Yes. Okay. You slip the curved needle under it. Mm -hmm. And then you uh, pull it all the way through. And then you're going to try and get your needle to go in on the left side of the knot inside the signature. So the side that's next to closest to the next hole, you're going to go back out of. Yes. So you're. Um, okay. Let me. I'm going to go up here so, since I've got mine really close. So basically, guys, what she's saying is because I came out of this hole. I bring my thread, there's my thread coming out of my hole. I have my thread on the right side. I'm going to take my needle back down on the left side between my signature and my um, cover. Just a minute because I couldn't get, I don't know where my curved needles are. So I'm going to bring it down between the two things so that it actually goes over the top of the thread that's coming out of the signature and then I'm going to come up again and then I'm going to go back into my signature trying to make sure that I go on the opposite or left side of that thread that I had. Does that make sense to everybody? I hope. Yes. Yes. Okay. And was I just yelling? I do, I do apologize. Okay. We're streaming. Okay. Sorry. Um, then you go back out the next hole in the signature. Oh, sorry. And you're going to do the same thing. You're going to go out this hole and then, um, and then go through the cover. Going back in through the cover. And then I have to take the, <laughs> the putting the covers on is the hardest part. All the in-between signatures are easier. And then um, I'm coming out on the right side of that all right come on what did that do okay then once you come out on the right side you go back under from the left so that you're going around it and pull through. And 
and then we go back inside on the left and we'll come out in here and then we do the same thing all over again with the next hole and you do that all the way across until you get to the last hole and then it's something a little bit different to go to the next signature okay okay um, and i've got I've, I've got black thread and i've got my thing closed so i'm going to just kind of show it if i do it wrong and i yell at me please okay so i took my needle and i went back out through the signature i brought my thread across the back to the next hole that's in my um, back cover now i have to take my needle out between the cover and the first signature and it should come up again on the right side of that thread that came out of the signature and mary that's how you get all the fancy stitches because the cover is stitched differently than the um thing so it's on the right side now i go back between oops i'm sorry back between the cover and the board the cover and the signature. There we go. And I go back down. That does the twist around it. All this thread is a little, you know, cumbersome. Okay. I'm going to have to run in the house for right, just a second. I'll be right okay. back. Y'all carry on. All right. And then I come up again on the right side. But then when I take this needle back into my signature, I have to take it in and I'm trying to get on the left hand side of the thread that came out of the hole. Yes. Okay. Good. All right. You're back on camera, Hannah. So try to keep your fingers in the in there. There we go. Um, and Mary, then I do know that the next step is different. Um, then, then the first, the, the attaching the covers is different than going from signature to signature. And that's where I don't, I'm not sure how it goes. Now. And guaranteed all this thread can be a problem. And Hannah, when you t if you have to tie something together, you tie it inside the signature, is that the? You can tie it inside the signature or you can, um, you tie it inside the signature, but you can return the knot outside the signature if you don't want a knot bulking up the inside of your book. I see, okay. And we do want to pull this as tight as we can, right? Yep. Okay. But try um, to be mindful of not ripping between the spaces in between your binding holes. Yes. Okay. Because if you made them too big, it can get kind of weak. I've done that before. Well, and especially with this wax linen, it, it pulls a bigger hole as it goes through. I actually left myself a tail. I know you said not to, but I did leave myself a tail. In, let me go here. I left just a little tail like this, just in case it pulls through. Just be, I'm gonna, after we get all done, I'll run it underneath one of these stitches and knot it just to be doubly sure because um, this paper, it, the exit wounds were pretty large. Yeah. <laughs> okay, Becky, that sounds like fun. I didn't even see you pop in, but hello, I'm glad you popped in, Becky. 
was afraid y'all were probably all the way to the end and I was way, way behind. Um, I haven't even gotten, a, I've only got a second hole on one end. Okay. We were, we were discussing things because, you know, Tanya's not totally got this figured out yet. I'm getting it. Huh. Just realizing this actually has one less binding hole than the book you're making. You have eight and I have seven. <laughs> Excuse me just a minute. Let me find out what what we need. Oh. That's not my husband, so I guess nobody needs. Oh, sorry. <laughs> We're throwing our strings on each other. Oh, bother. Came out on the left. I got all through. Sorry. It's my own instructions. I have to follow them. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you need to follow them if you're going to be telling us what to do. Though I do think, um, uh, cause that was why I heard on the video where I first saw Coptic binding, yeah. that waxing the thread does make it easier to untangle when it tangles. And it yes. will tangle. And that, is, that is true. And it will um, tangle, she says. <laughs> yeah, um, wax thread is, is easier to untangle. Though um, if you don't double it, it doesn't tangle near as much. Yeah. I just know you that. You also want to make sure if you're using two needles, I'm going to show you what I've just done. All right, show us. Yeah. Okay, you see this needle going in the signature? Guess where it's attached to? Where? The other end. Uh oh. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I got all tangled up. And so it, luckily I hadn't pulled it through. Otherwise, I'd have been pulling it back through. So. If you are using two needles and doing two separate spots the way I decided I would do, <clears throat> which was not the instructions given by the teacher, um, <laughs> you do want to make sure you got the right needle, hold of the right needle when you're doing what you're doing. Maybe you could color code them or something. <laughs> well, you also have to make sure I had them crossed to Hannah so they would have really tangled up good. Mm. Yeah, it would be good. I think, frankly, now that I've gotten, let me show you. Now that I've got this, this and this both a couple of stitches in, I will finish one, and then I'll go back and finish the other one. I think now that this that it's held in place by one stitch, it will be easier to just go ahead and finish the four the three stitches I have on one side. Mm. So. That's that's my thought on it. I may be wrong. Well, it lets you flow. Yes. Maybe better. And no, then it, uh, that would make perfect sense. I just got a bit confused because I thought you might be trying to put sew in all the signatures on one side. And no, no, no. Just just one not, signature on oh, one no. end at a time. Um, it means you don't let go of your needle so much. Yeah. So, but I totally agree. Having that, having both ends attached <laughs> really made a difference in how well I could hang on to everything. Oh, and you know, you went in the house. I have to go turn the air conditioner down. I'll be back in just a minute. Alrighty. I am just about to cook. Um, the humidity has, is just not allowing the air conditioner to do what it's supposed to do. Well, we're actually having a pretty nice day today. It's not not nearly as um, as hot as it has been. We didn't get any rain, but it did cool it down. <laughs> Okay, well, what's Mary's tip on using long thread? If it came in handy, I, I need maybe I need to know it. <laughs> we have no clue how long the thread is, except about 
12 times 9 and well, some. Yeah, I'd say almost, I'd say probably 11 feet, probably. Okay, and then back in the hole. <laughs> I'm glad they can't too. But you need to not whisper because now they're wondering, what was it she said? Oh, sorry. <laughs> she said she was glad you couldn't see her face because she's making weird expressions. <laughs> does her tongue stick out on the side when she? I don't know. Mine does. I was so say if it mine. did, it would be natural. <laughs> Not when I concentrate, but when I'm angry, then I make funny faces. <laughs> okay. See, I'm go. I'm fixing to go across this long stretch now and come to the other side. And so it's um. You want to make that fairly snug. I noticed with my other ones that they didn't, um, that middle part was not really very snug. Probably the waxed thread will help that. Okay. Now I'm going to. If I can find my hole. Uh oh. Sorry. That's not your fault. And I just went where I was in the middle of my threads. Oh. And that wouldn't be good. I bumped into you. Oh. I'm sure it was your fault. <laughs> Gee, thanks. <laughs> Oh, I'm whispering again. <laughs> it's all right. I, I almost to forget to do that extra around. go around. The, 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 I thought I missed one too, and I had to go back and pull it out so that I could check to see if I had. Well, it's really pretty easy to tell when you've gone around. Yeah, because it's it's covered rather than just on. The, yeah, on the side. Uh, um, want to see? Yeah, the design in the middle finish. Oh, that looks nice. Can you show them? Oh, that's so pretty. She's so fast. I thought oh, I haven't even got one end of mine done yet. And as far as wax linen goes, this is this is um, three cord wax linen, and it's kind of heavy and pulling some good sized holes in this paper that I'm using. Um, I think I did that while we were for books. I almost think that um, two two cord wax linen would be a better. Or it's my needle. If I, I was to going that. to order it. And this one is what that you got here. That's three. The one that I'm using right now is three cord. And because I use more three cord for jewelry, um, I pulled the three cord and I and I'm using it. I'm not gonna change, but I do have two two cord and I'm I'm thinking that next time I do something like this, I might use the finer thread because I think this is a little heavy. Oh uh-huh. So It seems to be damaging the paper a little. Oh, yeah. Well, I know when I've used uh, my wax linen, if I do it singly, mm -hmm. it always damages my paper more than if I do it doubled. And I I guess that's because it um, two threads, you know, don't... Um, I don't know. It just seems to not bother oh, it as sorry. much. That, yeah. Huh, that's interesting. Maybe it's like how you can cut wax in half with one thread of yarn or something. Maybe so. It's finer, so it's kind of like the edge of a knife. Um, yeah. That's that's probably very possibly true. So the two cord might be damage might be more damaging than the three. Yeah. Um, that is something I will have to experiment with. Then you can let us know. Yeah. And then we'll know yeah. if 
my way of thinking is all in my head or if it's accurate. <laughs> well, also, you know, it, it, I'm sure it's the different kinds of paper too. That's um, true. The different papers are going to give us different. Uh oh, there's a question up there, and I missed. It. Lucy, okay, Lucy asked a question. What type of paper are you using for the signature? We're Lucy, all using different papers, I imagine. That's, that's <laughs> right. Um, my signature. Just a minute, I'll go over here. Um, this paper actually is a. It came from the printers, um, and it's very smooth. Very slicky. Uh, I'm pretty sure it is a um, paper that they would print like a brochure on. Um, it's for a high gloss type of, of print. It's it's heavier than copy paper, and it's very smooth. It's very dense. Um, but it it was uh, and it's a it's larger than normal size because somebody told me. It's so that the printers can trim it off afterwards because then the, the print goes all the way out to the edge. It's like 12 inches by 18 inches. So it cut up perfectly for this. Um, if you were to buy it at the office supply store, it's probably something that you were going to put through a laser printer. That's the kind of paper it is. Um, let me go over here so Lisa can show you what she's using. Um, I'm using a a typewriting paper that's it's not it's pretty thin it's not as thin as onion skin but it's got that same kind of feel and look and hannah's using one that's an it's called executive it's like you would write um Resume resumes something. on or something um just stuff we got at the thrift store so that's mine on the screen it was really on screen um uh, are you ready for your second signature yet? No, give me just a minute. And Lucy says that she never doubles her wax linen. Um, I, I'm using a single strand of it, Lucy, but it is three ply, three cord. Um, I would have, I think four would have been really big for this particular book, but I may be wrong. And I, I may have some four. Um, now this comes this wax one that i get is um from a royal it's called royal wood um royal wood basket supplies i think that's what their company name is um comes on a big oops, i'm showing you but i'm not on the screen um <laughs> comes on a big tool like this um these are kind of pricey in some respects but because i use them for my jewelry i've always bought them i i've bought you know 10 of them at a time but different colors because they were wholesale kind of company for me. um uh you can also run into this company often at bead shows but they're sold to make baskets it's sold to make baskets with i guess Okay. Uh, um, Hannah, I have a question. When we stop, do we stop inside the signature or? Okay. The end of the, the Where, last binding hole in the first signature, you go in, you go through the cover like you would, and then wrap around once and don't return. Okay. Um, you don't I do is return. I believe. I'll have to get it back out of there. Okay. So don't return, yeah. but do everything else. Yeah. All right. Well, I'm not there yet, but I just wanted to make I sure. I returned to the inside of my signature on that last hole, so I'll have to pull it loose, which is not a problem. I think. Mm. I think this is some kind of four-ply cotton. Yeah. It's probably made for crochet or weaving. Um, actually, yeah, from what it looks like, most weaving thread two-ply. What it know. It, what no. it looked like was pearl cotton, which is for a big, they used to do a lot of um, embroidery with it, but I'm not going to tell you that was what it was for sure. But that's what it looked, that's what the Hanks looked like when I saw you undoing them. Yeah. Bedspread. It's what? It says bedspread. Bedspread. There you go. It's bedspread. 100% <laughs> <laughs> cotton, 12-4 it is. Oh, that's. That was not what I thought she was using. I she had blue thread earlier, 
Yeah, well, she waxed it and it got all tangled up and she just went back to what she used before. There was okay. a knot in it. I couldn't pass through the eye of the needle. And she, oh, no. Oh, no, what happened? I, did, I returned to the in the wrong hole. <laughs> Some problem with me. Something <laughs> tension, I suppose. Yeah, that's exactly what it is. It's all right. I gotta undo this one and get it back. Yeah, I like how it turned out too, Hannah. That's pretty. I'm glad you decided to do something different like that. Lucy says we've choose, chosen such pretty fabrics for our covers. Thank you. Um, I was going to do a little design thingy for my cover and did not get it done, so I will have to get it done and show you on a Another day. I got to get my wax linen where it's folded back from the needle. It's now all stuck to the other piece. <laughs> so it's like, ah! it's not coming out part. So I can't get it out. <laughs> uh oh. It's, I, I'll get it. It's just, it's warm here. So the fact that it's waxed. Um, yeah. <laughs> uh, I know. It's my, well, it's sticking to my hands and. So now I gotta get it out of there. That may require gla glasses off and surgery. Okay, so I've gone. If you're ready to go ahead, go ahead. And around. Don't don't wait on me. Well, how far away are you from being ready? I gotta get this um thread back outside the signature. Okay. Is all so go we'll just wait. No, go ahead. I'm good. I I I'm kind of I kind of know what's going on next. So okay. Now we're going to take next. Yeah, we're going this right. Okay. Take. Okay, show them right here, honey. I'm holding up. Yeah, and what you're fixing to do. Okay. Now. Scoot up a bit. And then we're going to take uh, we're going to take the needle and return it into the next signature. Like, like, like so like this? Yeah, like that. I'm trying to get it from the inside. But okay, I'm, I'm showing from the outside. She's showing from the inside. Like that. <laughs> Then, after we've done a somewhat unnecessary amount of pulling, <laughs> extravagant and extravagant. Yeah, I say it is necessary, but. Oh, that's what I'm looking for inordinate. <laughs> that's a good word there. Okay. Now, you have to be. I have to be gentle anyway on my corners because they're so tiny. All right, I've just got my thread inside my other thread. And I'm going to make a big mess here. Look at how little paper I have before the end. Yeah, that's okay. Okay, so what do you do? Now you're inside. So come you go ahead the next hole. Come out through the next hole. Okay. That is... No, what are you doing? Okay, I'm good. Sorry. My binding holes aren't playing nice. Okay, wait a minute. Oh, okay. You were just punching your hole. Yeah, the bright side of using a very sharp needle is that you can just punch and bump through holes. <laughs> <laughs> if you have to. Yeah. I thought you told me to do one thing and then you were doing something else. And got me confused. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so now I'm on the outside in the second hole. Yes. After you fussed a bit, you're just going to take the thread down, and this is why I hold it this way, uh -huh. so that when you open the space, which will ostensibly be the space between the signature under the one you're binding and the one before it, you pass the needle through it. And... If you're using a straight needle, you're going to have to open it up and push it out and then push it back in. If you're using a curved needle, I just do that so that it's easier to not spear your paper while you're trying to go. Okay. So the first signature, you don't do anything else? Nope. Okay. So we're going to go... Um, just a second. You mean the first hole? I mean the first hole. Okay. So we're <laughs> going to go between the cover and the first signature, 
around the stitch that's holding the first signature to the cover. Yeah. Okay. So like that. And then we just turn just it out into the signature. And okay, it. Hannah, do we make a complete twist around that that thread or just one loop around that thread so that it looks like it's a loop down there? You just loop around it. You just one loop. Uh, okay. Let me let me, the books? let me see if I can show you. Okay. Can you hold it up? Here? Well, just a second. She's gonna... This is where I came out of my first signature. We came keep... into my second signature. I'm coming out one hole down in my second signature. Yes. Just one second. Let me get this thread through now. Um, we got to pull all those threads through. Now, in a minute, I'm going to pull it tight so you won't be able to see it. But right now, I'm leaving it so that you can see it. I'm going to go down on the right side, correct? And then I'm uh, going to come up. Did you come up on the left of this one? Yeah, uh, I'm doing, yeah, this one, this one I came, I went down on the right and came up on the left. Okay, on, then, yeah, you wanted to come up on the right. Well, she's working from the center out. Uh, because she's doing them separate. I didn't yeah. turn it around on me. Yeah. Around the stitch and then return it into the cover. And then return it. So I come up. So I went down on one side of the stitch, come back up on the other side of the stitch, and then I will go back through my signature. That's right? Yes. Okay. That's what I needed to know. Okay. So then we come out the third hole. Mm hmm. Hi, Brenda. I'm so glad you're here. Go down, under, and around the bottom one, and then back into the third hole, right? Yes. Okay, Sorry. so we're just, basically, we're coming out and looping around the signature underneath the one we're working in, and then going back in the hole and going to the next one. <laughs> and that's why it gives you that kind of crochet chain look. Because you go out, around, and back in. And you want to pull those things all snug as you go because um, if no you don't, then, then they don't all line up real well. Yeah, you're stuck with whatever you do at this point. If you do it tight, you got it. If you don't do it tight, you're stuck with it being loose. Uh -huh. And especially with wax thread. So. Yeah. Okay, I gotta check something here. Okay. Let me go around. Oh, great. What'd you do? This signature is a bit off. That is what we call handmade. Handmade? Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> it's just what the middle pages is a bit off. Mm -hmm. Some of mine are too, so. So I'm just going through a bunch of new holes. And each time we just go to the next hole and then do exactly the same thing. Down on one side of the thread from the previous signature and back up from around, back up through and back through the, the signature to the inside. Yep. And on the last hole, we leave it outside, is that correct? Yep. And okay. you go into the next signature. I got little <coughs> pieces coming off my The same hole. When you go um 
you're going in the same hole. You're just going back into it. You come out the hole, you go back in the hole. Um, until you come to the last hole, and at that time, you don't go back into that hole, you go into the next signature. Right. I have a question. What's your question? Um, are there comments in all caps because they're admins, or is that just how Mary types? Well, no. that, they do it in all caps so you can see it better, and you know they're asking you a question. Okay. So or telling you something. See, she said, Hannah, is nice work. That was also in all caps because she wanted to make sure you saw it. Okay, so it's not just trying to yell at you for the screen. No, no. she's not yelling. Well, she, it, it's so that you, you, as the person doing the video, can see if they're talking to one another, they don't do that. If, if they're asking us a question or something, they do that so we can see it. Yeah, if they're talking to each other, then... Um, and some people ask us questions and they don't use all caps. So you still have to pay attention. But um, but if it's in all caps, you know they're probably talking to you, to us, one of us. Okay. And I've done something here. Okay. I think Mary's oh. asking a different question. Let me ask. Let me. Um, when you Mary, go down, when you go and, down and up, up between the signatures. Are you stitching in the different place or in the same hole is the stage. Yeah, I, I when I'm going between the signature and the cover, see here, it's between there. So there's actually no hole. It's just a big slot. And I go down on one side of the thread and then up on the other. Is that the question you're asking? Oh, she apparently already had her answer, so I just read it wrong. Sorry. It's okay. It could have just as easily been me that read it wrong. So <laughs> it's better to answer twice than to not answer at all. All right. Oh, and I'm, I am, um, who was it earlier that said it was too tight? Boy, is that tight. Well, it's they kind of stretch a little bit after you've had them done a while. Yeah, but, but I don't think I'll pull quite so tight on, on the next signature. Cause boy, yeah, I think um, when I did it without the wax thread, yeah, I didn't have any trouble with that. But it is definitely tighter with the wax linen. Yeah, I'm wondering if that's the... That's why she's finding it so tight because yeah definitely is that's really so really tight in there i'm gonna try to not be quite so violent mm -hmm. i didn't too. think i was being but evidently i was because it <laughs> well see the thing of it is about the waxing is that the wax thread stays in position once you snug it it doesn't it doesn't um it doesn't relax. <laughs> relax. Yeah, it doesn't come loose. I need to get Hannah's holding technique down here. Yeah, she she can do that really well and I me not so much. So I just do it my way and she does it her way and it's kind of funny because I only actually started doing this when we recorded the video. So that you could show was that no. Why you started doing it that way, or just oh, because that's I, I guess I finally got together and figured out how organized holding this stuff. Okay, oh, okay. Lucy, it was Lucy who said her, hers were too tight. So I we are um oh great, Mary. I'm glad it made sense. Um, thanks. I'm glad you're having fun with the books. Of course, I have to pull this signature tight because I pulled the other side of it tight. Yeah. <laughs> okay. It's also the way I'm holding it because I am not holding it with the cover closed. So that's part of it. So now I go in mm -hmm. the end one of the next signature. Mm -hmm. That's why, because you don't 
do the same exactly the same looping on the ends that's why they look a little different than yeah. the rest of them okay i thought it was because i did something wrong no they always look different that's technically two kettle stitch okay kettle stitch yeah kettle stitch it, as far as the book i got on book binding goes only appears on the ends because it's used to return into other signatures okay and it, it's um, uh, used for strengthening books where you are like doing a lot of long stitching okay into something because it connects the signatures together on their own okay so that they're uh oh. so, so that link stitch that we put in the last book is like like um, a kettle stitch kettle stitch okay this time i'm going between the second signature and the first signature rather than the first signature and the cover okay let me let you're showing them right yeah okay and then back up in. And Mary, I will try to do that. Um, I want to make another one of these, only maybe a square one, so and do a decorative binding. So I will see what I can do. Um, And like I said, where my my thread is folded together, guys. Oh, let me put it. Um, you see where my thread is folded double because it comes back through the needle. It is warm enough in here that it is actually stuck together, and I'm having trouble um, lengthening out my thread. So that is that is one thing about the wax thread. Um, and I'm going to add my third signature. So give me just a second and I'm going to pick it up. You see, I did not go back into this hole. This is the second signature here on top. And I didn't go back into the second the, to the hole. You come out, you go down between the cover and the signature. You come around that thread. And that's what Hannah says is a, actually a kettle stitch because we're going to go into the next signature. So <coughs> I'm not sure I got this right. Yep. Okay, so here's where, what we're gonna do is, we're gonna be stitching to the inside of this third signature, but we're going to be stitching that between the first and the second signature. So each signature that you add, you, you stitch inside of, in the middle of it, I want to get hold of the middle of it. Get hold, you're going to stitch in the middle of it, but you're going to stitch between the last signatures. The This one is the second, and this one is the first. So my third signature will be inside it and between the first and second. So <coughs> I'm going to come into my... I got to take my glasses off. So I cannot see chat, guys, just so you know. Okay, Laura, we will post a picture um, in the Facebook group. Hannah, do you do you know where that book is? That book binding book? You brought it here. Okay. Okay, so I'm going to go into that signature. This is my third signature. I'm going to go inside. Oh. Let's see if I can see a little bit. I'll pull all my thread through. I'm going to thread pull it just a little less tight. Because the last one I pulled a little too tight. I'm going to just snug it. And then I'm going to go out through the second hole. Uh oh. Okay, now see everything slid. So now, now I've got things slid around here. If I can hold it. Okay, out. Okay, so now this is my last little stitch, my last hole in my signature. But let me see if I get it. Can you see that? I'm going to go. I'm not going to go in a hole. I'm going to go in between the last two signatures right there. So that when I come up on the inside, I am between it 
Then I will go, let me get it snug. That's a problem, long thread. Okay, so then right there is the stitch from the last one. I go on the opposite side. If I came up on the right side, I'm going down on the left. It comes back through the signature. I think I'm that's when I go back in the hole. Spinning and weaving books. In I'm the hoping that that's making sense. Let me go back. Is that, am I doing it right, Hannah? I, sure um, I can tell. <laughs> She obviously was paying a whole lot of attention. That's all right. Well, I mean, <laughs> it's a long explanation for something that she does without. She just does it. We we, yeah. It that's what it is. Oh. Holes into the signature you're working on between the signatures on the one before. That's the big thing. I think I've got them twisted enough. Oops. Don't growl. <laughs> it's just kind of frustrating. Uh oh. That they're they what did they do? Slide when you're poking the holes? I dumped out half my signature when I picked it up. Mm -hmm. Oh, that is frustrating. Mm -hmm. yeah. So the holes lined up pretty well, all things considering. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's good at least. Yeah. Okay. Somehow I got this really twisted here. <laughs> wow. I'm not even sure how I did that. And basically, because I'm doing this with two threads and I'm doing a section here and a section here, I'm going to end up with that kettle stitch in two places and the actual copic, copic stitch in the center and the other two. So, yeah, that's true. It's going to look a little different than because um, it's like you're doing two small bindings. And <laughs> that's right. I'm doing two small bindings instead of um, a big bind. The big thing is to remember, uh-oh, what did I do there? Oh, that's my tape. The one that Hannah told me not to leave. Um, the big thing is to um, remember not to go back into your signature on that last, on each end. Right. I'm going to wash my hand, but I'm not kidding, because it's so sticky. <coughs> Sorry. Mm -hmm. So far, my pages have lined up and the holes have at least been um, in where they belong. <coughs> it's got you today, doesn't it? It does. Uh, I've been, the last week's been harder. I don't know what it is. Oh, Jeffrey, Jeffrey coughed and coughed and coughed. <coughs> I don't. I'm not sure, but what he's getting some kind of cold. He takes one medication that makes him cough. So um, he coughs a lot. But well, I thought maybe I was getting a cold, but it hasn't done anything else. It just makes me cough. <laughs> it makes you cough. Uh huh. Well, that could be. Usually, you know, if it's a cold, you got some other symptoms, but right now. Supposedly, with the, the um, curved 
needles, you don't have to go down and then back up. But since I couldn't, <coughs> you can actually go around that and make yes, it. Yes, that makes it easier. Right, but um, like I've got them somewhere, and if I had had the, if I had done what I should have done last week, um, I would have had them in my hand so I could use them. But I didn't, so that means I don't have hold of them. <clears throat> well, you're just proving it's not absolutely necessary to have it. So well, some people yeah. may not even have them, so it's okay. Well, and I would probably would not have had two of them. That's another part of it. Yeah. Although mom said she had one and I meant to get it from her and we were over there and I forgot. So. <coughs> oh yeah that does make a difference laura when they start plowing things up or harvesting or all they do a bunch of different stuff that can all contribute uh yeah <clears throat> um i have driven down the road up in nebraska and they were harvesting and it was just like a total dust storm Okay. You answered Laura about the book, right? Yes, I said I thought I had it out here, and I could just go ahead and show, show it to it. you. But, mm -hmm. Um, but I don't, so I'll I'll get it and and show us on the group. That'd be good. Yeah, I'll either put a picture of it or a link to it, one or the other, because oh. we we got it from Amazon. So and then we got it from Hobby Lobby. Oh, never mind. We and got it from Hobby Lobby. That was first time. Mary says. LOL, LOL, Nebraska dirt. Yep, that's what it is. Nebraska <coughs> dirt. Okay. That's where I've seen it the worst, Mary. It's just, you know, co coming down 29 um, between Sioux Falls and down around Sioux City. That's where it was the worst that I've ever seen it. Do you remember that time and uh, incoming storm? It's wind managed to kick up enough dirt to rain mud. Oh, that was awful. Yeah, though, once I, before it actually happened, when I learned how it happened, I'm honestly surprised it didn't happen as much around here. Because we have wind all the time. <laughs> and lots of dirt. <laughs> yeah. That was, that was weird, though. I'd never had it rain mud before, but it, I mean, that I remember. But it definitely did that day. Oops. That would be, mm. it was strange. <laughs> that would kind of freak me out because, of course, I've heard that it's rained frogs before, too. So, mm -hmm. um, my, my, um, Lucy is absolutely right. I'm stitching this way too tight. It is, it is pulling. I'm going to have to really I have to put some kind of a closure on it. Yeah, I'm afraid that's what's going to happen. Yeah, I'm probably going to have to do that, too. Yeah. I've got mine clamped down, so I don't know how bad it is, but. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so there's a really cute way that the book, The Wind, the giveaway had ribbons on both sides. Yeah. That's what I really liked. Yeah, I liked that, too. Um, now, when you did the ribbons on both sides, Hannah, did you, um, did you put them into the cover before you stitched it all and everything, or? No, they just went down under the uh, end pages. But the end pages were put down with the S page, so I'm pretty sure they're going to stay there. Oh, yeah. But but so that is still an option because we haven't put the end pages in. Right. There. Yeah. That may be what I decide to do. Yeah, yeah, I think I probably will, too. I'm a bit of a glue fanatic. <laughs> <laughs> a glue fanatic? Well, I always put down too much. Oh. Well, I'm going to tell you what. I have never used so much yes paste as I am on this altered book that I, I'm i down to half a jar of yes paste. Can you imagine that? Wow. Yeah. Uh, I just, I couldn't believe I've used that much. But I've added, um, what do you call that? Um, 
jelly prints to all of the pages of this book that I'm altering. Sounds cool. Well, I hope to get the video done for next week, but we'll see. Well, I can't wait to see it. Mm -hmm. uh, I will tell you, it's pretty. Um, the If I have to get up to wash my hands, which I'm afraid I'm going to have to do, I will get it so I can show it to you. Um, the, for all of those prints that we made uh, a couple weeks ago in my, in my, on Sunday. Uh-huh. Okay. I have used, I, I think I have about 12 sheets left. I made over 100 pages and I've used them all. Wow. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's a lot of glue. It was a lot of glue. Uh-huh. And I, and I think I have a couple more to do still. Well, you definitely got me waiting for that video now. Okay, well, I'll actually show you the book because I am going to have to go get my, um, I'm going to have to go wash my hands. The The wax on this cord is so sticky that it's, um, it's making my fingers stick to everything. Oh, yeah. And I turned the air conditioner down. Well, one nice thing is putting in an all except the first and last signature are really easy, and they just just they're go all the, the same. Quick. Yeah. yeah. Um, the worst part about that is is all of the thread we're pulling through. I'm I'm going to have way more thread, I think, than we needed, and yeah. I really got to behave and not pull so tight. Well, I'm not going to have way more. I'm sure that I'm going to have to go ahead and um, let me make you guys um, full frame. Um, I'll be right back because I'm going to go wash my hands. I, like I said, I'm so sleepy. I can't hardly work. I'll be right back, guys. All righty. It's funny because mine's not being on the edge like the last one was. It's, I don't know what I'm doing wrong, but anyway. It's got a little bit of a lip, which is not a big deal. It just isn't what I expected. Now, I'm going ahead and clamping my each signature down as I work because my hands are not as coordinated as Hannah's and I would, I would lose something while I was working if I did that the way she does it. So I need the extra hand <laughs> that a clamp provides. I can see why you enjoy doing this, Hannah. It's kind of um, relaxing once you get the cover on there and you go on to just stitch it in the signatures. At the end, you have a book. And at the end, you have a book. That's right. Books are wonderful. I agree. <coughs> oh, goodness gracious. We're getting there. Are any of you playing along right now with us or everybody just watching and going to do it later? I'm just curious if anybody's actually binding at the moment besides us. <laughs> And if you're enjoying the the binding process. Oh, now don't get it caught on the clamp. That's not enjoyable. <laughs> Mary's just watching. Ruth's working along, but she's still on the first signature. Well, are you doing okay, Ruth? Um, 
the rest of the signatures will go a lot easier. So it'll go faster once you get to the second one. But if you have any questions, feel free to ask. Wow, I can't believe it. I'm on my fifth signature. And look how much I have left. I might make it all the way. Yeah. And I know I don't have any more thread than I did last time. That's so oh. strange. Your paper's thinner. Ah, okay. Um, Patricia's That's reading her reading about um, a different, um, about she's got visuals of, of, um, of Coptic stitch, which is good. Uh, Yeah, I, I thought we were going to use that book that Hannah had, mm -hmm. but it was a different uh, beginning and ending stitching. I mean, the covers, she put them on different than Sea Lemon did, and so Hannah liked the way that Sea Lemon did it, so that's what we used. Well, that's, yeah, that's we good. used her See, video. But. I, put, I put all of these knit pretty. Oh, Yeah. I mean, there's no decorations or anything yet. It, this is as far as I've gotten. It took all week to just get these all glued in because I glued four or five, and then I'd have to let it sit and dry. Yeah. So um, So are some of them pockets? They will be, yeah. Uh -huh. I thought it looked like it, but I couldn't be sure. Oh, those are yep. gorgeous. What book are you putting them in? Oh, it's this Funk and Wagnall's uh, dictionary. She oh. wanted one that was glued. Now, this one is glued but it's also signatures oops i'm sorry it's it's glued and then it's not so um i did i did some it's a little different than than the challenge fate book but that's okay with me so well, it's looking lovely so it doesn't matter if it's different <laughs> that, well, that's it um thank you mary um and i like i said i hope to get that portion of the video at least done for next week we'll see it's just a matter of you know getting it all accomplished so okay, okay. we gotta do the next signature now, um this is the i'm fixing to put on my last signature but okay, i didn't go ahead and go around this one just like i've done yes. the others right okay okay yeah. so you put the last signature in not yet fixing to okay but you do it exactly like you do the other no no nope. you put it on with your other cover you put them on at the same time, so it's not done the same. Okay. That's why so, we're going to wait. <laughs> okay. If I weren't having so much tangling, I'd probably be ready too. But that's okay. Tanya's not quite ready, I don't think. Oh so. no, I I have I have two more signatures to go. Three uh -huh. more signatures to go because I got up and washed my hands. Well, while y'all um, work on this and get to the place that I'm at, I'm going to go see if I can find that book. I'll be right okay, back. Okay. Well, that would be cool. So. Um, I'm going to switch back. To this. <laughs> he brought it out here. Yeah, well, I thought I took it back in. I'm glad I thought it was all over the place for it. Uh -huh. Okay, well, that was fast, huh? <laughs> <laughs> this is it. It's by Erica Ekram, and it's bound over 20 artful handmade books. But the name of the book is Bound, Over 20 Artful Handmade Books. Hmm. And it's, got, um, it's got lots of projects and a basic rundown of what you need to do. And then a step-by-step -step guide for each of her projects. Which includes some that are really cute and some that are just fine. And like that. I want to do that. <laughs> oh, that I is don't cute. Know why, Look. I want to do that. Look at this. <coughs> is that a suitcase? Yeah. yeah, it's a suitcase. I have a perfect suitcase, only it's way too big, I think. Yeah, mine too. I've got one ju just like that, except it's huge. Uh -huh. You can just fill it with even more books. Even more books. There you go. <laughs> yes, but Hannah, you know, you have to have a place to put that stuff. That's true. Can anyway, you? there's several, you know, there's these. I don't know if you can see. It's kind of glary. Um, those are really pretty too. Yeah, and she has a few different interesting stuff. And there's this one really cool one that's a Coptic bound on the ends. <clears throat> and then there's a piece of leather over some long stitching. Is this it or spine. another one? No, it's in the back. She, the leather books are in the back past the wood. Oh, there's one leaf. with wood. 
yeah, wood and leaves and stuff. There's slate, the moon, um, quest flowers. Leather books, um, okay. Next, 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 next. Ooh, I like that too. Oh, that's cool. That's fun. We need to do one of those. I can send you some leather, Tanya, if you don't have leather, but I want to do one of these. <laughs> okay, I, I probably have some leather. It's just whether or not it's too heavy. How heavy a leather is that? It's pretty heavy. It looks pretty heavy. It looks, um, I don't know, but you could probably. I was trying to see if she tells you what kind of leather it is. Yeah, or, or the density of the leather. Yeah. It's a Japanese stab binding. Okay. Um. Cardstock, wooden board, rubber bands, dust mask, hand held drill, four inches by 22 inches piece of leather, but it doesn't tell you how thick it is. Okay, does it wrap what? around the, it only wraps around the closure, it does not wrap around the end of the, the spine, does it? it does wrap around yeah, it wraps spine. around the spine too. Okay. Let's see if we can find a picture that shows, see, there's, there's where it shows it wrapping around the spine. Okay. What's, that looks, uh, what I've got might be a little heavy. You wouldn't want it to be like saddle leather or something like that. That'd be too heavy, but um, it would need to be something that would fold fairly easily. Of course, yeah. you could just press some leather and make it fold easier. Yeah, but the, the one I oh, wanted to Oh, we didn't to get to you, the one you, you wanted uh, to show. Let me see. No, we passed it. Um, should be right now. Uh, this book. Oh, that's cute. I always cute. thought that was so cute. But am I, actually, that's, um, yeah, that's Coptic stitching. It's been wrapped around to add the covers on because they made the text block separate. Oh, okay. The way you do it in this book. You make the text block and then you add, add the, the covers, covers on. on. See that wrapping? Uh huh. That's why I wanted to do the kind of where you get the crochet thing, but I don't know. I'm starting to have second thoughts. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Anyway, this is this is the book. Okay. And you got it at Hobby Lobby, huh? Yep. Yeah. My Hobby Lobby does not have very good books, so that. But I does sometimes. sometimes. I think that was Amazon does have it. I think it just happened to be in the clearance section one day, so I got it. Yeah, I was gonna say. I'm, I'm thinking it was too. That's unusual to get a Yeah, good it really book. is. To find a really good book in the clearance section is not that. That's also where you found my watercolor book, though. That's true. I did. And I love that book. <laughs> okay. 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 Now, don't wait on me if you're ready to go on. Cause, no. I'm not yet. I don't know how I got my hands so bad. <laughs> I don't know either. Well, I got the cover done for oh, this oh, August geez. challenge. Um, I haven't done the cover yet, Lois, because I haven't figured out what I want to do with the cover. That's my problem. I'm not sure what I'm going to... Okay, that was not good. With the cover of your um, altered book? Yeah. Uh-huh. She's done her cover, but not her inside pages yet. Um. I just couldn't believe how long it took for, for me to get all those pages covered. Um, it would have taken a lot less time had I used uh, uh, scrapbook paper and glue, just regular glue instead of the yes paste. Yeah. Because yeah. the yes paste, you know, you have to get it center. on there and you have to thin it all out. That and kind of your work. Uh-oh, we lost Lisa. Better. There she is. Oh, sorry. That's all right. You've just disappeared for a minute. Hmm. We had. I had. A, now they might not have lost you. I did. Okay, Mary would like the author of the book again, please. Erica Ekram. I don't know if you can see that. Erica Ekram. E K R E M.
mom. Huh? Okay, never mind. Okay. Eh, right next to the corner. Two next to the corner. <laughs> uh oh. My signature got wonked out. <laughs> Wonked out. He got wonked out. Okay, mm -hmm. this is the fifth, but I think things should go smoothly, so I'll see if I can get this done quick. Okay. Don't rush because, you know, I'm behind. I don't know how I managed to get done faster than y'all. I don't know either. <laughs> I, I had to wash my hands. I do have to do that. But also... Um, I thought maybe I didn't have all my signatures in here, but I do. Well, I and, thought that and, also because I have extra thread that I didn't expect to have. So, well, and I can also, actually finish. I'm also working in two, sort of two. Yeah, your brain has to go back and forth. <laughs> yeah, believe me, um, that's kind of you know I have. Having the two threads, I'm getting them a little tangled up every once in a while. But it's it's working. It's actually going pretty good. But it, I, like I said, I've got the first few signatures. They're just too tight. I need to back off. Um, yeah. Lucy is right. You can get it in there too tight. Um, Mary says that Dick Blick has that book. Okay. And she put a link in. Thank you, Mary. Hi, Rosemary. It's good to see you. We're glad you're here. Mm -hmm. We're making a mess. <laughs> I'll show you what we're making, Rosemary. Just a minute. Let me make you big. Oh, okay. Well, you can show her. I'll just make you big. Okay. We're making this book or one like it. Now, can Hannah, show her the front of your cover real quick. Sorry. Hannah's doing a different binding this time, which is really pretty. I like that. But this is, this is, um, this is what we're doing. And it's Coptic bound. And in this one was our sample that Hannah and I did a video when we made this one. And I used jelly print papers in it. Um, and covered the cover in leather. And this is the um, my one for today. And it's just got regular paper and a fabric covered um, cover for this one today. And Hannah's doing a leather cover today, and Tanya's doing a um, faux leather cover, or leather, or I don't know what you want to call it. Well, uh, uh, Vicki called it Naga Hive the other day. Now, I don't think this is Naga Hive, but um, yeah, I would say it's a fake suede kind of thing. So that's it's, what it's we're doing. And, but it had a fabric back to it, so... You know, it's uh, we discussed the fact that a lot of nagas were killed to, to, uh, <laughs> a lot to, of nagas. To, to let me to let me have this book. A lot of nagas had to die. Um, it was some stuff I found at the thrift store, and I'm guessing that they used it to um, cover furniture. From the thickness of it, it was you know like furniture weight, and my binding. Lisa went all the way across with hers, even though it's the same pole pattern. And I'm doing two separate because I didn't want a long stitch in the middle. Um, yeah. Just because. And I was trying to find one that was dark enough you could really see the long stitch in the middle on this one that I did. But but there's this long stitch in the middle. And that one wasn't very tight. So it's easy to show you. <laughs> and this is what she's leaving out. She's just going to have it stitched here and here. Tanya is. So that's that. Uh, there was something else I was going to say. Um, well, Hannah is actually using the same binding. It's just a different whole pattern for her cover. It's, right. Is yeah. really the deal. It's just it's just a different um, decorative yeah. stitch on the cover. Yeah. Right. And we made templates to make it easier to punch our holes in our covers. So, um, wish I could remember what it was I was going to say. Don't you hate that? I it's do hate it's that. worse than walking into the other room and figure, not knowing why you went in there. <laughs> <laughs> Once uh, 
I was trying to put up toilet paper and I walked all the way down to the basement. Like I opened the door, turned on the lights, got all the way down the stairs into the basement before I realized I wasn't supposed to be there. And there is no bathroom in the basement. <laughs> in fact, it's just a storage area. That's pretty much it. But we'd never store toilet paper. No, that. no, we wouldn't. Well, and you know what? She's got a long life to live to be doing that at her age. I know. Her mind is in the clouds. That's what it is. It's not lack of memory ability. It's that her, she's always got uh, stories going on in her head. I was going to say, it's the 500 <laughs> other things she's thinking about. Yeah. <laughs> yep. That's a good thing. For the most part. <laughs> oh, she's about ready. How many more signatures do you have to go, Tanya? Oh, I have two. So when you guys get ready, go ahead and go. Hannah wants to rest a minute. Her hand's hurting. So we'll, okay. re we'll rest a minute and let you get a little closer. Because it really okay. is very different how you put the top signature and cover on at the same time. So. At the same time. In fact, Hannah's going to watch the video so that, <laughs> <laughs> so that we can remember how to do it. Well, I am glad that we can put our, our ties in to the... Um, I'm going to mute here. Okay. Hi, Kathy. Hi, Brenda. Huh? I muted the computer. Oh, okay. She's just watching and not listening, so I don't have to mute. But sorry. Um, Brenda, I don't think it's difficult. I think it's difficult to explain. That, uh, it is well, difficult um, to explain. It, it takes a while to do this, but once you get the swing of it, um it's really not all that hard um, what you need is to do one that has about 20 signatures and then 18 signatures will be very easy and the first and last ones will be a little bit difficult <laughs> well yeah maybe make a but, ton. Uh, once, once you get it going and i made it more difficult by not putting that um center stitch in um that's that is one of the you know that not by not having that long stitch in the middle and i've never done i've honestly never done this before um, i i didn't get a chance to practice i had wanted to and um it's really not that hard it's just a matter of getting everything pulled and frankly today the wax linen it was a bad choice because it's just warm enough that everything is sticking together so it's making it more different look more difficult too than it really is and hannah's got it down where she can hold the signature and knows where to hold it and i'm having trouble with that too today you need to place one finger between the signature beneath the one you're sewing and the one beneath that so that the opening is and then, um, looser so you can stick your needle through easily. Then you need to put one finger between the, in the very middle of the signature you're working on and the rest of your hands is beneath the book to support it. I probably didn't explain that well. You probably That's explained right. it as I, good I, as you I can think, explain it. I but think it, I got it kind of like this. So, yeah, I guess. Yeah, those last two fingers are holding the board. Mm -hmm. my, my problem is, is making my fingers do that. <laughs> yeah, mine too. Mine too. I, I tried for a second and I thought, you know, I'll just use a clamp and I'll be fine. Mm -hmm. with, a, with a curved needle, yeah, it works really well. Yeah. Um, with a straight needle, her finger holding method would be okay. helpful. Yeah. And I'm kind of holding it like she does, except not the back. And that's why I got so tight. It's part of the problem. Her holding that back down like she does, um, I'm sure keeps the stitches from getting quite so snug each time. Because that that's where mine got too tight. Is It lets, it lets the last signature kind of roll up on the next signature oh that makes sense and the clamp helps with that too because it mm -hmm. holds all of the signatures together tight against the back yeah as you work 
Well, let's see if maybe doing that would be a good idea. Try that. You got so, it remembered? Uh, yep. All righty. Trick is the very first one is done a bit differently than the rest of the top signature. Okay. okay. I'm going to make you big, and I'm just going to kind of watch. All right, Hannah. Oh, this is a really bad chair. Yeah, it is. I'm sorry. <laughs> Your old mama got the good chair, and you got the bad chair. <laughs> it's really how it ought to be, but still. It's got, uh, why can't they make backs that are universal for short people? <laughs> Because most everybody's not short. Although I see a lot of short people walking around nowadays. They should make more no, things no. universal for short people. <laughs> well, and actually, Lisa, the people used to be shorter. So, you know, they, they should make things more for shorter people. Well, they I, I think the average person who designs furniture is probably about five foot eight or five foot nine. And that's what they do. Everything's too short for tall people and too tall for short people. That's true. That's <laughs> true. You know, balance in the car really well. Yeah, that's true. Okay, so Hannah's going to tell us what to do, and I'm going to show you while she tells us. So. Okay. Gonna need to hold both the cover and this. Together? Yes. Okay. Now, for this one, specific, you go through the cover first. So I'm going to set that down. Okay, so the... I need your clamp, actually, for this. Bit. There's right. a bigger one if you want a bigger one. No, I just need something to hold it shut so that I can rest the signature on top of the book. I know, but the bigger one gets easier. This feels like a freak out. Okay. So, go. Okay. Set that there for a minute. Damn. So you've got your book with five signatures, then you've got your signature, and then you've got your cover. Put the needle through the cover. Put the needle through the cover. All right. And where are we going to come out? Uh, you want to come out down. Yes. Well, I know that, but yeah. do I want to have my needle on which side of the... Uh, on the right? Down. Then you will. This is what makes it so. Uh, yeah, on the right. Okay. No. On the left. Okay. Well, see, you're starting at one end and I'm starting at the opposite end. Okay. Would that make a difference? Yes. So on the outside. Yes. Okay. So we come through the cover and we're on out the outside. And then what do we do? We're going to wrap around this stitch that's basically only through the cover at the moment. Okay. Once. Okay. Then we return into the sixth signature, finally. <laughs> Alrighty. Then we're going to go in the sixth signature here. Yeah. Don't worry, all the rest are put on in a far more sensible manner. <laughs> this one's just a bit tough. Because it's, it's a wet. Oh, great. You gotta be kidding me. What happened? I only went through three pages. Mm -hmm. It's all right. It's an easy fix, considering what you could have done. Yeah, but still. <laughs> okay, now then, we're, um, we're inside the signature. What do we do next? Now you go out to the second hole. Okay, so we'll go out the second hole. Okay. Um, try not to spear your cover. Okay. Because you'll do that. I've done that a lot. Um, now you take the thread, you go out through the hole of this. Oh, great. Okay, loose again. Just a second. She's got to tighten it up. It's all right. Um, Lisa, add yeah. a clamp to my, all my signatures. Just a second. I'm going to switch for a second, guys. Adding okay. the clamp to everything except the two signatures I'm working with really made a difference. Really. Big time made a difference. Well, good. Well, it helps me to have the clamp. <laughs> I even have it 
in the, of course I have the curved needle, but I even have it inside the signature I'm working with. So to hold it in place. Oh, okay. <clears throat> Okay, so I just didn't get tight enough. Oh, okay. It's bugging me because the last book I bound, I didn't get tight enough, and the whole top cover slid a bunch. Okay. Even after I got uh, that's all right. We'll wait for you to get it tight enough. It's not gonna happen. Uh, what did I do? It's just this stitch. It's not tight. having to do a little bit of surgery <laughs> well and i'm going to tell you by trying to loosen up my my stitching I, I, i'm not going to be as happy because my my book is um is uh not as tight as i would like it to be can you pull on that on this yeah okay i think i'm just gonna to try and get the other holes Tighter. Sorry. 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 It's okay. Okay. Mary says oh. the stitching looks nice and neat. It is a neat, a neat stitch. Pass under that. So we go under the signature before, just like we always done, right? Yes. Okay. Now we've come out the second hole and gone under the signature before it. Then are we gonna go in through the cover? Is yes. that what's next? Go into the cover at the top. Okay. And then come out between the cover and the first signature. Yes. All righty. Just making sure my brain's working right. Okay. And this is the stitch. Right here, that you need to make sure you get tight. Okay. That's what's going to make the cover real loose. This, the second one. The one between the cover and the signature. Okay. So the cover needs to be on really tight. Yes. Okay. And then we do we go back in that signature? Mm, just a second. Oh. No, I did. I just came out. I didn't. Do I go under? You wrap around this stitch right here. Around the stitch, not under the next sig no. signature, just around the stitch. Okay. Yes, you've gone under the next signature before, right? You came out of six, went down around five. Yes, I did. Okay. And then went up over the cover. Okay. All right. Then you return in six. Okay. Then go back in six. All right. Now I'll go out the next hole. Ah. <laughs> okay. Uh oh, I just ripped my hole a little bit. Okay, out the next hole, and then I go underneath the net, the one below it, right? Yes. Okay, and then in the cover. Yeah. So underneath there, and then in the cover. And then make sure that stitch is really tight. Okay. Hold it up, Lisa, please. And I, I, right here is where I've gone in. And then I've got to come back out here, down here. Yeah. But I want to make that snug there. Yeah, and uh, I'm coming out on the right for these two stitches that 
point down, uh -huh. they're angled on this way. To so lock them in place. Them tighter, better. Oh, that's a good and idea. And on these two, I'm going to come out on this side. Okay, that makes sense. Then you wrap around that once and return into six. We should have used number names earlier. Make things a lot simpler when yeah. we started this explanation. Instead of the before, <laughs> the one underneath or one yeah. on top or whatever. Okay, I'm, uh, I'm, I'm a bit confused. I go through my cover from the outside to the inside. Is that correct? Yes, and then come back under the cover. Wrap can, around the stitch, then go into my signature. So, no. Okay, can you make yourself big? Yep. Okay. I have my last signature right here and my cover. So I would go all the way over and go through this hole. Let me see. Let's, I don't want to get the wrong hole. One, two, three, four. There's the hole. Yeah, you go in through the cover. But from from the from dirty down. side to the ugly side. Then, and then I go into my signature. No. Then when I get this all snug, you wrap around once and then return into the signature. I wrap around this thread, then go in the signature. Yeah, and then okay. the next one is done a bit differently. Okay. All right, let me get these two in because that'll hold everything in place. And I'll, uh, I'm going to just leave myself big so I can show. That's the first stitch. Okay, so we came out of our, our last stitch. Spot where we were, we went in to the signature. I got to pull it snug, not into the signature, into the cover. Okay. Okay. And it's about how I got to hold it the same way I've been holding it. Um, is that right? Am I doing that right? No. Sorry, I gotta turn it around because otherwise my rights and lefts are, you know, my, my stitches are gonna be backwards. Okay, so needles on the wrong side. One second. Sorry guys. It's all right. Okay, so So then once I've pulled all of this snug, I take this thread and I wrap it around that little stitch right there. Yes. Just wrap it. Mm -hmm. And then I actually go in that last signature in the hole. <coughs> yes. Okay. That's what I thought. So I'll do that and then I'm going to make you big again while you're working and then I'll And that's where you're saying that I have to be really careful to get it snug. Otherwise, the cover is going to not be snug as it should be. Yeah, right? it slides around. Yeah. <coughs> Doing two threads for the first time was not necessary. First time I've ever done this stitch was not necessarily a wide. <laughs> I'm going to mute for a minute. Okay.
don't know. Okay, sorry about that. That's okay. Okay, well, I have figured out that I don't have quite enough yarn or thread to go all the way to finish. Oh, dear. So okay. I'm going to go inside my signature and tie off and start a new one. Okay. Now you just wrap it under that stitch. Get your needle through that loop and then pull it tight. Let me let me make you big so that you can they can see where you're <coughs> Well I already did it, but oh okay. show you what I did. Okay. Um should I do it twice anyway? Uh you can. I just went underneath here and then through that and then pulled. And if you pull it towards you, it snugs it pretty good. And then I'm going to cut it. And I have this other piece all waxed up here. So I guess that's good. But I don't need nearly this long of a piece. So. I can see what Hannah is talking about with this this particular spot this particular stitch uh i'm having trouble making it all nice and snug and pretty well um uh, the rest of your cover stitches will tighten it up if you can't get these too tight yeah well i i will it's it's an also a matter of holding on to it and i've kind of got hold of everything a little bit backward and i keep getting my threads all tangled up so so yeah. how do i tie this one on um that one you just uh how did i do this last time uh, it was something similar to a weaver's knot i think but i knew how to do one of those that work okay <laughs> we'll just do it like that for now, I'm just going to leave that long. I'm not going to worry about it. <laughs> yes. Okay. And now I'm going to go out and just keep going. Hannah did hers. She didn't like that on the inside of her signature. Uh -huh. So she, um, she put her knot on the outside when she added on. But I would rather have the outside look pretty. You so. tie the knot inside and then you pull it through with the needle. Okay, but your knot was on the outside. Yeah, but I just, the way you said it, it sounded like I tied the knot to the outside of the binding, which you could actually do in this book, so. I just, I, I don't know. It's okay. <laughs> okay, question. I've forgotten already. Do I go from here to, to up there? Oh, Mary's leaving. Bye, Mary. Bye-bye, Mary. I just came out of my signature. Do I go in up here, or do I go around under that one first? Um. <laughs> um, you go under this one. Okay. I just lost my rhythm, and so I couldn't remember. <laughs> yeah, that's what's kind of you know. If you lose your tension, lose your rhythm on this last one, it it does make a big difference. Um. Oh, and my thread is much waxier because you know the a lot of the wax has been pulled off the other mm -hmm. one. Yep. <coughs> okay, so I've got the I've got a mess here now. I am not sure how I did it either. Oh, whew. okay, it resolved itself. <laughs> Well, that's always a good thing. It is. That's a that's a blessing. And now through the cover. And around. And back in the signature. Sorry, I have to tell myself all the steps. <laughs> well, 
Well, you did better this time than when we were recording the video. We talked okay. to you the whole time. I did. I did. In, out, around. <laughs> okay, I finally got that. That first stitch is what's the hard part. Once you get that first stitch and it's kind of lined up, it's not so hard. You're going to come back out of your signature. You need, oh, no, you did. Never mind. Sorry. Go ahead. And no, I was just going to say you need to move it to you, but you had. Okay. You come back out of your signature, which, you know, <clears throat> I don't want to let go. <laughs> there we go. Come out of my signature. And I have way too much thread. I should not have cut so much thread. I would have had a whole lot nicer time of it if, if I had cut a shorter piece and tied together the way I would have normally done something when I sew. Um, so next time I will remember that I will not be cutting such a big piece of thread because it has tangled itself up. It has tied itself in knots. Yeah, but it I is, think this is the first book I've ever done where I didn't have to switch thread and pull those knots to the back and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. So, okay, no, I'm very happy about that. So, so I, I'm coming out of this signature right here. Okay. So then we come out of that last signature. We go in to our cover. No, you go around underneath the signature below it first oh okay so i go i go around this signature below it first aha okay that's where you lock it in first okay okay so so now then do i go back i don't go back in my signature though i just every other one i go around that last that stitch like so but do I go back into my signature? No, I go in through my cover then. Yeah, yes. You go up in through the cover and then you pull it real tight. That's where my problem is, is nothing is real tight. I'm gonna have to go back and re-pull through a bunch of stuff here. Okay, so I'm going under the cover. And this is where I go around that thread before I go back into the signature. Yes. So I go between the cover and the signature. And then back into the signature. Okay. This last little part is kind of a... I think putting the top cover on or the last cover on, whatever is the hardest of the whole thing yep i i i just definitely agree with you so okay i think i got it all righty hannah's got hers finished she's finished hmm let me make her big <clears throat> there you go and as i said that i got mine finished so so here we are And well, they I'm the, I'm a little bit. But our other ones did that until we laid something heavy on them for a while and then the pages kind of adjusted. Well, and see, mine mine is going to be really tight until um, you get to the last cover and the, the back cover and then it's not so tight, but that's okay. I'm all right. It's actually tighter than you think once you start getting some of the stitches in it. Yeah, and you can kind of take the signatures and open between each signature and kind of pull on it mm -hmm. and make it a little more even. Okay. It won't do a ton, but it will help a little bit. And also, apparently that last signature, I didn't punch the holes very well. Uh-oh. That's all right. I, I mean, they're, they're lining up okay. They're just not lining up perfect. Hannah, where do you tie off? Um, um, at the end, you just tie off. Um, you just, uh, you return back into the top signature. You thread your needle under the stitch just before it. 
and then you put the knee you pull it down till you have a little loop sticking out from under the last stitch you pull your thread you put the needle through that and then you pull the needle tight toward the end so you're pulling it against the end of your book to pull the knot tight uh -huh. okay all right mm -hmm. makes a nice neat little thing Now we've got to get end papers and a closure. Ooh. I'll be right back. Okay. Once I got that second stitch in there, this is going much better. Let me see. It, it, the second stitch tightened it up, and so it's laying in there a lot nicer now. Yeah, so that's that, what Nina said about hers, too. Um, the second one's really more important than the first one. It, it kind of fixes it yeah yeah it does so and the big thing is to remember that last little go all the uh-huh okay i used the wrong needle thanks kathy uh-oh that's okay thank you mindy and kathy um I just, I don't want you to see my mess that I just made. <laughs> Hi, Carlotta. I did, I'm sorry I missed and didn't realize you were here. I'm glad you're here. It's good to see you. It looks like I only did one stitch wrong with it, but that's okay. It, well, that's good. Yeah. Not so much to take out. No, I, I'm going to be all right. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to, I'm not going to fuss. I'm just going to just do it the way I should, so. Okay. Now I've got to find some end paper. What I what I did, guys, was just pick up the wrong needle when I was going to the next thing, and um, so. And this last piece, once you once you get that first stitch in, it's really not that bad. But that first stitch did not want to go in, and um, it just took a while to get it all snugged. While you got it on you, I'm going to take my headphones out and look for some um, okay. end papers. Okay. So, the big thing is to remember is that you come around. this. You've got to wrap around this thread so that when you go back into your signature, um, you're pulling this top thread snug. It is very pretty. And then you open up that signature. Pleasure. Go back. Oh, in. very nice. Now I need to. I didn't. I need to find some ribbon for closure too. Put the inside. Put the stuff in the last and I think and this last signature, for some reason, my folds are not lining up real well. I'm having trouble with getting the folds, the paper. I didn't get it punched in the fold. Maybe I'll do some lace. You got lots. Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna I'm gonna find some lace. Here. And see, see the, the holes on my inside and the holes on the outside of the pages are not the same. So I'm gonna actually punch a new hole. That's where my problem came punching from the outside, Lisa. I um I'm totally oh. off on the inside of my fold. Yeah. So, there you go. Thanks. That that particular paper is not punched. Let's see if any of those. No, those none of those are really good. Mm. So no. that that added to the problem of not getting my needle into the right place mm. earlier. Maybe one tie. The pity. Yeah. So once you come out of that signature, then you've got to go around the stitch. That's nice. From the signature below. Mm-hmm. 
go like that. Oh. Then we're going to go into our cover. Thanks, Carlana. Hannah, and then Carlana, back, she loves your book. Oh, thank you. Back up. Back, back up. Underneath the cover. Around that stitch that goes in the cover. Once you figure this out, this, this is not You just have to have six hands. That's just that's all you need. What? <laughs> you just need six hands. You need six hands. Okay. That stitch needs to be a little snugger. And then back into the signature. Now, I may be cutting too much lace, but I'd rather have it too long and have to trim some of it off than. Yeah, let me go back over there. Okay. So what she's doing now, guys, is she's getting ready to put the end papers on the inside of the book, and she's putting ties because we decided they need to be tied closed. Yeah, and I'm just using some um, some lace for my ties. So I'm cutting four pieces so I can um, <clears throat> put some here and some here so that it will tie like that right i have been going well that would work but i have been going straight down oh okay even better okay so I need to cut my again, straight down how um coming like this okay so that they go straight out the sides okay and then you do the same on the bottom so you can tie here and tie there. Okay. So that's how we're going to do it anyway. I'm sure there are a million other ways you could, but. Mm -hmm. But you need this. I need some end papers to, to cover them up. So. Okay. We made our end pages exactly six inches, just like our papers, right? Yeah. Okay. Do you think this is a good enough length? Nope. Okay. I think it will not have room to tie. Yeah. Um, stuff stiffer than the last stuff. Right yeah. Here. And the limper it is, the less space you have to have for it to tie. How about 10 inches? Yeah, that's long enough. Okay. <laughs> hope I have enough. Well, you could use lace too if you don't have enough. I know, but I love these end pages with the navy ribbon. Yeah. Okay. I'm using a cardstock. On the last one, I didn't. I just used paper, but this one, I'm using cardstock for my end pages because it was the color I liked. <coughs> and so I you. I haven't even thought about that. I'm gonna have to go hunt. You want to fold it corner to corner, which is going to be harder to do with cardstock. <laughs> Where's the yes? Carlana, I didn't see you pop in. Hello and hi, Susan. Oh. Down there. Oh, I see it. Thanks, Kathy. Hi, hey, I'll Susan. Get, I'll get here. So I'll get there someday. <laughs> um, this very last signature is actually it's, it's punched off. And that's causing uh -oh. it to be just a little harder than you think to than it should to to accomplish. Not a big deal, just <laughs> yeah, I didn't get those. this one perfect and now it does not want to fix itself. Just keeps sliding. Oh, the perils of cardstock. Yeah. <laughs> Especially when the inside <laughs> is slick. Okay, that's better. It's not perfect, but it's better. Okay. Now then, one thing I meant to show y'all that I hadn't until now, I forgot. Um, some of you that are didn't see our last one 
is these books are oriented so that you can set them on a shelf like this. So this is the bottom of the book. So when you open it to work in it, you're going to be working across like this. So you'll be working on a square rather than a diamond. Unless you want to work on a diamond, then you can do that. <laughs> but um, if you have your cover so you know that when you set it like this, like you would set it in a bookshelf and you open it up, this is the top. If that's helpful for those of you who haven't seen this, explained that before. Okay. Um, so do you think I should use Yes Paste on my cover? Well, you're going to have to hold in those ribbons that are going to be under pulling stuff. So, yeah. Okay. I mean, I would. But, like I said, I'm a glue fanatic. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm just going to use this um, glitter glue on the page. And then when I glue it down there, I'll use the Yes Paste. I just want to put enough glue on here to um, to get that to lay down and match my other signature. Yeah. I guess I also prefer the Yes Paste has a longer working time so that I can be all finicky about exactly how much I put it down. That's true. That is nice. Okay, that's funny. I would think so. <laughs> got a plethora of you. shock in her voice. <laughs> she can tell I used too much. <laughs> okay. Now then, um, my ribbons. Your ribbons? Oh, ribbons. ribbons. <laughs> I said rivets, and I'm like, uh, uh, wait a minute, wait a minute. I didn't hear. I don't know what we're doing with ribbon with rivets. <laughs> you missed that. Um, I missed that. Yeah, I missed that part. Okay, there we go. Got oh. over on top of the ribbons too. Just to be sure. Okay. Yeah, it's kind of hard to. Sorry for our squeaky table. That's all right. I'm making exasperation noises here. <laughs> okay. Why don't you put it back where it's half on us and half on you? Oh, I'm sorry. Um, it's not a big deal. I just... No, I just... My two middle stitches look really nice. That kettle stitch on each end is not my favorite stitch. It just, it doesn't look as pretty. It doesn't look as pretty. I agree. I agree. Um, I personally like that other stitch binding that we did with the, um, the slip knot binding. Yeah. Because all of them are the same. Yeah. I, I think that, that I like that that look better. I don't know that you could do such pretty covers like Hannah has got. Yeah, I don't think yeah. so. And you'd have to use single pages. Yes, that's okay. You're right. That's where yeah. it would not work. You that's not why you it. need the Coptic stitch on this one because. Yeah, because it has the signature. So. Right. So there we go. That answered that question. So. Okay. Now then, if I understood Hannah correctly, let me make this big. I do not have pretty stitches in this class signature, so. Um, 
I did not punch my holes good in this signature, so it's not real pretty. But my understanding of what Hannah said for tying a knot was to slide it under here and then make a knot, pulling it against that, that right? Yeah, slide it under there and then take the needle back through your loop. My loop. And then pull it toward you. Pull it towards me. That's what Put I thought. Put the needle inside the loop. Yep. And that's what I've done. And no, then I no, inside the loop of the that you've got now. You In went the under the thread and now thread. inside the loop. Inside the loop that my thread makes. Yes. Okay. Yeah, I got, I've got it. It's just so big you can't see it. See. Okay. okay. I didn't see it going under there. I apologize. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's just that. Um, and then I just pull it back towards me and cut it with a little... Oh, you used it all. No, there's an, another one over there somewhere that's wax paper. This was parchment paper. We'll just have to go look. Thank you, Brenda. And if you pull it towards you real snug down it there, it will snug up that really good. Oh, Susan, I would love that. Yeah. I would love that, Susan. Very much so. Um, I have, I was looking yesterday, I have, um, uh, what do you call that thing? Oh, okay. uh, a die cut, uh, one of those die cut things, but the butterflies in it are tiny, tiny, and I do have a tiny bunch. Um, I found my, when I was fine, when I found my heat tool, I found, um, I was looking in my other punches, and I have a tiny, but tiny, tiny. I mean, it's like this, but, um, but yeah. If you've got some a butterfly punch, I would love some punch outs here. Yeah, I have uh, six feet too much thread. <laughs> <laughs> Don't you have a butterfly punch? Do what? Do you have a butterfly punch? Um. Yes, I do have a butterfly punch, actually. Okay, my chair's on top of my chair. All right. Oopsie. This, this particular signature's insides make me, make me very grumpy. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't like the look of that. That's just terrible. Terrible, terrible. I went to my book, um, you know, we have a, a sort of a, a book making club here uh -huh. um, that, that we didn't meet in the summertime, but they meet once a month and I went Saturday. I couldn't, I couldn't even concentrate to try to make the book or anything, but um, they were making a tunnel book. Oh, Which, oh wow. yeah, it's going to be fun. I, I have to um, make some time to to make that one. Um, Hannah's intrigued. Yeah, uh-huh. Um, our We've been challenged to make that. She gave us actual cutouts to make it. Um, but we've been challenged to make one of our own, so I'll be making something. I don't know what yet, but. I just I just knew that between my eyes and, and everything else, was, I didn't get there till late, that kind of stuff, that I was not going to be able to sit and cut with a knife out the picture. So I just brought it home. Well, maybe we can do that sometime in a in a in a hangout in a yeah. whatever you want to call these things. Whatever we Craft call together. these things now. <laughs> Craft together, yes. Yeah. Okay. So yes, my book is definitely gonna have to have some attitude adjustment. But look at the binding came out pretty cool. Sounds like the book is an army teenager. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, the book is yes, definitely. It's actually closer to a two year old. 
<laughs> and I'm a two-year-old. That's much worse. Either that or it's 88 years old. That we're, I'm not sure which. We're, we're both, both of those. Uh, a grumpy old man. Yep. Uh -huh. Yep. Yep. Okay. So now I have to have end papers to go inside it, and some kind of tie. Um, I'm going to make you big while I go find something. Okay. Okay. Well, I'm having a struggle here, so it might not be a good time for me to be big, but. <laughs> um, that's the thing, Susan, the die cut, it's okay if you're going to die cut something big and you want one or two of them. But the other day, what I was doing for, for scrap stuff, I wanted just something little. That's. I did have a couple of those boxes. I'll get that because um, Barbara Fark mentioned these boxes that she had, and I went and hunted mine. And I don't, I don't know. I think I have another holder, but I'll show you what I've got that she was talking about and why they would work better than some other things to hold little pieces. I'll be right back to get all that stuff. Okay, this one. <laughs> I want to make sure everything's good and stuck it's down. It's good and stuck down. Eh? <laughs> Not only using the port tape on that. That's now. right. Uh, Some my thought table can't keep up. <laughs> We're going to need to get a. A stronger table one of these days instead of a card table that's like as old as my grandmother. <laughs> I don't think it's as old as your grandmother. Maybe well, it's, it's older than, than I am. Maybe as old as mine. Yeah, it might be as old as your grandmother. That's probably true. Anyway, it's definitely older than I am. I know that for a fact. <clears throat> Very sagely card table we have here. <laughs> okay, I need another piece of paper here. To put in right there. Okay, so now I've got my ribbons on and um, my end paper's on and it looks like this inside. We just meet in the yard. There you go. <laughs> oh, that's a good idea. I can just clamp it instead of trying to find something heavy to put on it. There we go. All right. And now we we'll just let it sit until it dries. I'm so happy with the way this cover turned out. I think your cover's gorgeous. I love it. I'm glad you decided to try something different because it's beautiful. Tanya's back. Okay, I'm back. Oh, that's pretty. Which? The paper? Yeah. Okay. All right. So here's the choices that I could grab fast. Okay. Granted, see, this is very... Let me put it on you because we're finished. Oh, okay. Now, the thing is, is that this piece has two... <laughs> If I cut my six inch squares, I'll get some of this green and some of that. But I'm thinking I like this one better. Where it's all one. What do you think? That one or that one? 
I like the one that's all the same. Okay. I kind of did two once I laid it down. Yeah. Okay. So then the next thing is, I don't really like this. I don't, I kind of don't like the gold with it. Let's just open this puppy up. Gold with it. The black. Well, I don't know what it looks like where you are, but on the screen here, the gold looks really pretty with the end papers. Um, hmm. Okay. And it looks elegant. It looks really elegant. Well, the other thing is, is the fact that I want to use. Just a minute, I get it. Oh, a piece of this on the cover, a little tiny piece of it which goes with the end paper very well. But I'm almost thinking that the the gold, what do yeah, you Yeah, it doesn't go with the ribbon. That's what I kind of thought. Yeah. Um, Are you just going to do one ribbon? Uh, yeah, I think I'm going to bring it out across the point. We'll see because it depends on which one we use. Yeah. Um, I have little tiny black ribbon which then I could either use two or one. Um, but I also then have this one. Which is, it's tan. I don't know if you can see it. It's tan. It's it looks tan. gold. <laughs> um, yeah, it, it's actually more of a tan. Um, it's very shiny in its spaces. So it... I think that one's pretty, but I think I, the little black one would be okay too. Or you could do them both. Just layer them. But um, that's too much. I kind of think I kind of think I like this one best. Yeah, I, I think I do too. I like the, it. The other thing is, is this black one is going to be. It's not going to tie as well. You know, it's it's all it's over and it's almost an inch wide and it's kind of stiff. Yeah. Yeah, I think the gold one, I like the gold one definitely better than the black mm -hmm. one with the gold on the sides. Yeah, and this Moroccan thing, this is actually um, cork fabric. And I have a bigger one and this small one. But I think what's going to happen is I'm going to use a piece of the small one. And then I want to make a piece of like faux leather with the pe brown paper bag to sit underneath the piece of um that would be pretty yeah so so now basically um she did not go behind the spine or anything she just came well you came out this way yeah okay how did show me hannah's she did the same thing she did the same thing yeah hmm. you could do it however you want but if, her, if she went over the spine with hers. It, oh, then it would mess up her whole yeah, thing. Yeah, it would mess up her whole thing. You see, I could tuck this. If I went through the spine, I could actually tuck it. Um, no, I couldn't. No, that wouldn't work. The journal can take your covers? Yes, it would. I could actually tuck this. You can see the little flower sticking out. Show us back. Put it back on you. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, <laughs> sorry. See, I've brought it up through the spine. Yeah. I could put it like that. Yeah, that would be pretty. And then put my end papers over it. If I did it that way. <coughs> now. <laughs> And, and it would just have that little bit of ribbon showing right there. Yeah, that's pretty. Yes, you could wrap it, Susan. I'm, I'm thinking this is what I'm going to do, though. It's just like that. Okay. Um, Hannah's going to have to go in, and she's okay. got things she needs to do. Okay. She's, you need to show us her book one, or she go already. She's she's fixing to go, but she'll show you her book. Show them your book one more time. 
thank you, Hannah, for doing this with us. We really do appreciate it greatly. Say you're welcome. She's she's got her headphones okay. off, so she couldn't hear you. She couldn't hear. Okay, that's that's fine. We, we really appreciate it, sweetie. Bye, bye, sweetie. Now then, dear, um, can you stay on a little while and play, or do you until have about to three thirty? I can stay on until okay. about three thirty. Then I have to. I got to go get ready to take my son to work. So. Okay. Well, I'm just gonna um, leave it on. Where did where did it go? There we go. I changed my camera and it, I lost it. But I think that's what I'm gonna do. I think that I like that that tan piece with the end paper being this piece. I do. I do. Yeah, I like it. Mm -hmm. I think it's gonna be pretty. So I'm just going to leave it on both of us while I work on this. And how long did you make the ties? Well, I think I made hers about 10 inches long, uh -huh. uh, but then about three inches of it was inside. Mm -hmm. I made mine stick out probably, uh, let's see, about 12 inches because I didn't know how much I'd want. I figured I could cut some off and use it in in some snippets or something Yes. Yeah. Um, if I didn't want that much, but I didn't want to leave enough and then find out I couldn't tie it because it's pretty wide. That's right. If you if you can't tie it, then it's not it's gonna be it's no good. <laughs> right. It'll make you grumpy. It would. It would make I, you very grumpy. I'd much rather have too much than too little. It's just kinda like hair. Yeah. The only <laughs> thing about hair is it grows back. So. All right. And you cut your end paper six inches square just like um just like the pages in the journal. Yeah. Oh, all right. That sounds like a deal. And let me show you something real quick that I okay. did. You might want to move your camera back a little bit because you're oh. off center. There you go. Whoops. There you go. Much? There you go. You're just up. You push your book out oh. away from you. There you go. Okay. Um, when I put mine on, mm -hmm. what I do is I run a little bit. Oh, I got too much. I run a little bit of glue on this page. Mm -hmm. And then I lay my folded paper on top of that and rub it down real good. Mm -hmm. And then I pick up my cover and fold it over. That way, my end papers are the same size as my um, signatures. Okay. If you glue it to this first. Mm -hmm. And then you glue it down here. A lot of times this ends up not being the same. Let me show you in this one. See that it's just yeah. a white cover. Yep. Okay. So um, I think that method works better, but you have to really kind of pull this up and lay it down. It, make, it makes total sense, though. I can definitely see where it... Um, Okay, so now we got to get this trimmed up so it's square, right? Yeah, you want me to do that? <laughs> it might be a good idea. Well, you know, that's just if we can accomplish that. I, I you know, not cutting things lately has not been my. Well, I tell you, the thing that helps me the most with cutting stuff is this cutting board has this. Let me show you. It has this little piece of wire on it. Yeah, that shows you exactly where you're going to cut. And so you can line that wire up with where you want to cut. I don't uh, know if you can see the wire. And which company is that one? Um, I think it's Fiskars. Uh, let me see. Actually, I, yeah, it's Fiskars. Okay. Um, it's one I got. Um, I knew it was a, a gift. Uh, yeah, I, I wanted it in a giveaway, but um, but it's um, it's really nice. It's the nicest cutter I have. But that little piece of wire, it makes all the difference in the world. Because <laughs> I cut things crooked all the time with my other one. Because it looks like it's good, and it's not. <laughs> 
because sometimes the end that you're putting up flush, you know, to it measure. Is not, it's not square. It's yeah. not square, yeah. And that's what happened with those papers I was cutting. I'm not sure the paper that I was cutting it from was even square. Yeah. And the printer wouldn't matter because he's going to come in with a gigantic cutter and just chomp on it. So I got to get busy and get my composition books finished with covers on those. I was yeah. going to do some of them Sunday and did not get to it. So. Um. That I have to turn them in next Saturday. How many are you planning to get done? Well, just as many as I can. I've got 11 finished. So, you know, if I get, I think I've got seven or eight more books. And if I don't get them done, I don't get them done. It's, you know. Uh, It'd just be nice to do more. Yeah. I yeah it, it would be nice to do more. And, and like I said, if I don't, I don't. I didn't make that many last year. I think I made about 10 last year. Um. But I didn't get such a good deal on them. And I did make them more complicated. So. Yeah. Okay. All right. So now I have got that across there just because I thought it was cute. Not, it doesn't have any purpose there. It's just, but it does let my book open. I just wanted to make sure it would open with it like that. Doesn't seem to be a problem. So now, I think I better do some glue of this. Yeah, glue your ribbon down first, and then yeah, <laughs> yeah I think so. stay where you want it. Mm -hmm. Especially, excuse me, I forgot the glue bottle lid in my mouth. Especially since um, I want. Uh, this ribbon to come across the point. Right. Okay. Now... I see what you're saying is just line that up and then close the the book. Yeah. Yep. And that's another reason you want your ribbon glued down so it stays where you want it when you lift up the lid. Uh-huh. <laughs> but you'll and need gonna, to pull that um, cover up as you lay it down so that it really goes all the way. You know what I mean? Uh-huh. Yeah. I see what you're saying. Yep. Yeah. Okay. So, we want a little bit of glue on here. You didn't glue your whole end paper to the first one? Uh, no, I didn't. Um, okay. You can. I think, to be honest, I might even like it done that way better. Um, but... Hannah just does it this way because traditional books sometimes have it glued, but they yeah. have part of it, you know. That book I took apart is done that way. Yeah. And so that's why she did it that way because her book binding books say to do it that way. But I'm not sure I like it. I think I might go back in and, um, and glue it down. Glue it down so it opens. In fact, I'm just going to do it right now. Yeah, I, I think so. That way it opens with that first page. Yeah. That would make me happier. I think that's what I'm going to do. I think it makes me happier too. I thought about doing that when I did the other book and I never did go back and do it. But yeah, I like that much better. Oh, I let it slide though. There we go. Over that first page and line it all up. 
I think I'm actually going to go on ahead and go back into that other book and do it too. While do I'm it there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. See that? I like that way better. That just means your first page opens up that way. Okay. So our ribbon is glued. Now we got to glue this down. Well, if it makes us happy, it makes Susan happy too. So, uh -huh, okay. Guys, if there's anybody out there and that's coming to chat and we missed you coming in, I am sorry. We, we get busy and we forget. And so hello, hello. We're really glad you're all here. Um, the video for next month's book will go up on my channel tomorrow morning. Okay, Lisa. So, what I need to do now is I need to kind of lift this cover, pushing the signatures down a little bit, and close it. Yeah, just kind of stretch it up. We're stretching mm -hmm. the threads and then close it. Yeah. I just realized why I didn't do that in my other book. Why? Because I have pretty jelly prints as my signature covers in that book. Oh, okay. Yeah, well, <laughs> I, I didn't want to lose that. Mm-hmm. I knew that there, I knew I had planned to do it and I was trying to remember why I didn't, but that's why. Mm -hmm. yep. But in this book, I definitely like it better done this way. Yeah. Well, and see that it's not, my signatures are not perfect in that. See how it's not, not exactly the same on this edge as it is this edge. Yeah. But I'm not going to freak out about it. I'm going to leave it that way. Well, Mine's not perfect either. So, um, somebody once told me that none of us ever are perfect, so that's fine. So, just get over it. <laughs> yeah, get over it. Bye-bye, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. oh. Laura. Thank you. Bye, Laura. Laura. Yeah. Um, okay, so now we got to get this stuff. So what are you going to do in your book? Oh, this one? Yeah. Put it on the shelf. Me too. <laughs> um, I started to say that uh, next month's book information, and there's not a lot. The video is very short because there's already a perfectly good video out there done by Kylie Coop. But um, I did talk about the products that we're going to need and... Um, stuff for our next book in september we're i'm really gonna, excited about that little book that's gonna I be i think fun. it's gonna be so much fun um i cannot really wait to do it um i already pulled all my stuff out and then we're gonna to <coughs> then the thing big thing is is that it's about using up scraps afterwards after you make the book it's all made with uh packaging and, and then you use up scraps, which is even better. <coughs> yep. To decorate it, you... And I have a ton of scraps. I just, I had, I knew I had a bunch, but I didn't realize how many I really had. <laughs> well, um, I need to, that's one of the things that is <clears throat> piling up and making a mess. So I need to sort. Well, I had, um, you know, in all these, I have these tubs, like dish pan tubs. Uh-huh. That if I do a project, I just throw everything in the tub and then I could just stack them. Uh huh. Well, I had like eight of those that had scraps in them. Oh, no. And, and then I had boxes with scraps in them. <laughs> so you had the scraps, didn't you? I had enough scraps. And so I took all my scraps and I put them in one place and I went through them and I sorted them into uh, small, medium, and large boxes. So, I, I mean, I did three boxes that are um they're document boxes so they're uh -huh. like three inches high by eight you know eight and a half by 11 piece of paper fits in them about three inches high and i decided that was plenty of each size and so i put small ones in one box medium size ones in one box large ones in another box and then um and then i had another box that i filled up um to give to janet and um and so uh 
I was so glad that she was willing to to take my scraps because <laughs> I didn't want to get rid of that many. And I went ahead and threw away some that weren't that great. You know, I thought wasn't that usable. Um, well, so see, and that's the thing. I've just been putting everything in the box and there's probably scraps of, you know, the security envelopes that we were using. Yeah. And stuff like that, that, you know, I, I have so much of that. But, okay. So but, I, um, I did throw away quite a bit, but it was, um, but now I have my three boxes of scraps and then, and then after I loaded up a box for Janet, I still, there were still some left I thought were really good. Mm -hmm. So I have a box of the use these first. Aha. Uh -huh. Use these first scraps. Yeah. I just got glue on my front cover. Oh no. Yep. It's a good thing. I'm well, I, and I'm pretty sure that's a front cover. Yeah. It's pretty good. It's a good thing. I'm going to put some kind of decoration on there because I just, got glue on it. I've been so careful not to do that. Yeah. And then I got glue up. This cover went, this um, paper went in a little nicer, which is good because it's the front cover. And this signature is a little nicer inside. So that'll be good. So there it is. Ta-da! Let me tie it up. Of course, I probably will need to open it and put um, wax paper in there just until it gets all dry. Just to well, be I sure. Hope, I hope what I sent you, Janet, is stuff that you'll enjoy using. Um, but I don't have any trouble tearing up a, a page to use it. If, um, if it's a project I'm enjoying and I think will be good, you know, but sometimes you think the paper is better than the project you're working on. And so you don't tear it up and use it. <laughs> um, you know what? I'm not going to like this, that it came out on the corner. Well, you can, oh, well, no, you can't. <laughs> it's done now. It's done. Um, yeah. I may, I may need to go in and um, I, I, I might like it better once it dries. I'm going to put some wax paper in it and clamp it shut. Um, it kind of pooches the sheets on the corner. Just uh -huh. so, so everybody knows, um, when you tie it, it kind of bumps into these sheets. Now, once it gets its attitude adjusted a little it'll probably be fine. But um, I think the way Lisa and Hannah tied theirs was probably a better choice. Just FYI. But that's okay. I'm, I'm not going to freak out and I, you know, but the next one I make, I think I'll put the ties in a different way. You still there, Lisa? I'm here. Okay. Just Sorry. Being, just being quiet. Huh? Well, I was just sitting here thinking, I'm really enjoying this, but I probably really need to get off soon. Um, okay. And, but I also was thinking I need to put my um, paper back in this book <laughs> before I shut it. Uh huh. Well, I'm going to, like I said, I'm going to put some wax paper in this. And then what I'm going to do is put it, I. All my paint sits in this tray beside me. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this and I'm going to put it underneath that thing. Yeah. Well, it will I just have... it will just give it um I need to have some I just have some books I'm gonna put on top of mine. Yeah, well it, it this is there's just it's like a big silverware rack thing that oh. all my paint is in and it sits on a box beside me. And if I put my sandwich here, and it's it's wire, so you always want to protect your surface. Right. But if I make my sandwich like this and tuck it under there, man, it's heavy. It doesn't, nothing goes anywhere <laughs> um, when it's set under there. And it squashes things really well. But I also wanted to show you this box, that um, these boxes. And I'm sure you've all seen them. This Barbara was talking the other day. Why don't when you make yourself big so we can see more? Okay. Um. 
Oh, well, actually, we can see those pretty good. Oh, I have seen those. Okay. Now, there. I'm sure that I have the proper box that these boxes fit in, but I cannot find it, and I may be wrong. I maybe don't have that many. These are iris boxes. You can buy them at Michael's. You can buy them singly, or you can buy them, and this is not the proper box, but with a box where they fit in just like so, okay? Um, the thing that we were talking about, they're, they're thin. They're not real tall, and they're designed for holding four by six photographs. Well, Barbara was talking about the fact that she keeps, she separates out her little scrappies in these boxes and because they're not real tall if you have a whole bunch in here you don't have to dig through everything right to, um they're photograph boxes um iris is um the brand um susan see it says iris on it iris makes a lot of plastic boxes they actually make one that's um waterproof that we use in the camper because they they can go by down below um they're designed for photos um i know that michaels has them i am sure that hobby lobby and the other places would yeah, have I've seen them at hobby lobby yeah um and you know you if you wait until uh, joanne's probably has them too if you wait until um sorry that'll probably go away in a minute um we get lots of spam calls from South Dakota. Um, if you wait till they go on special, you can get them pretty cheap. And Barbara said that she had all of her little tiny pieces where she had punched out punches. And I was going to show you, this is my, this is the uh, butterfly that I have. And I was going to see if it would punch this this is um wallpaper and i don't know if it'll even punch it it did which is nice i hate the thing on the back of the punches though yeah this this punch is old that's the kind i have to stand up and push down on with my hand <laughs> yeah it, it works pretty good but it doesn't come out See how tiny my butterfly is? Oh, yeah. Uh-huh. But, like Barbara said, that if you put the whole bunch, if you had all butterflies in one, she does a lot of shapes like circles and squares. But you could kind of have a box where, like, they're all butterflies, dragons, and birds or something like that if you had punches or die cuts or whatever that you that were a great idea. putting them out in. And, you know, then you could... If you, if you wanted a specific kind of thing, like if you wanted circles, and I know Becky punches out circles out of her scraps, whatever size circle, that's another thing that I want to get is um, my, my one inch circle, absolutely, you cannot use it anymore. It just, I've, I've tried sharpening it. I've tried doing everything to it. And it's this, this style, and it gets stuck so bad that, um, I've been thinking about sending it out to the shed with Jeff and see if he can um, silicone it uh, because I can't use oil on it. Oil would get everything nasty, but uh, wa uh, wax paper doesn't work and um, aluminum foil doesn't work. Nothing seems to work to make it good. And yeah, I literally have to stand up and squash to, to make that one punch. It locks up every time. Watch it work. I have a little flower punch just like that, and it does the same thing. <laughs> okay, and it just worked. Just because I told you it didn't work, you know. Well, it was Barbara's idea, Mindy, and um, so that was one of those things that, um, I, you know, I wanted to show them to you because I knew what she was talking about. Because the other day, it's like, okay, so then we have these scraps, but... If you punched a bunch of them ahead of time, you could, when you sat down to use your scraps, you'd also have your punches and they'd be, you wouldn't have to have these right by you all the time. That's my thing. 
is that yeah. I, keep, I keep certain ones beside me, but I have boxes of punches because especially like these little ones, um, I used to use, um, it is the sticky stuff. It's like sticker material that they put on the sides of trucks and cars for signs. It's signage stickers. <laughs> okay, and that stuff is unbelievably sticky. And I used to use it on my glass beads and then etch the glass beads. So the place where the sticker was would be shiny and the rest of the bead would be matte, like beach glass. And Ooh, so I have, I have a ton of these little stickers or these little punches that I could, but I can't keep them. You can't keep everything right beside you. True. <laughs> I, have, I have like two fishing tackle boxes plus that box I found that had my heat tool in it. It's like, okay, that's where my heat tool is. Fine. But see, if you go by, go and you have your, your scrap and you go through and you punch, like Becky says, your circles. Uh, uh. Then you can punch your little circle. Where's my little guy? And then you can put all your circles in there together. And I don't know if it would be better for me or not, but I'm thinking that maybe it would. Oh, that one's. I really that like one. that for the punches and die cuts and things like that. Uh, mm -hmm. Better than what I've got. I have, I just have a, a just a, a little tub that I have a million circles in because I just took some quilting magazines and some other magazines and I just, found pretty colors and just punch circles oh and um so i've got a million circles <laughs> that was one of those things i did when i didn't know what else to do show us okay hold on just a second yes susan i think that they and this one this one is really old i mean this is and it was made in taiwan so you know it's not real precision um and it it just it gets off and the other thing is is having to stand on top of it to, to push it um well good grief the other thing you could do is is that if you wanted to you could separate out the itty bitty guys you know like these itty bitty punches from other things. But I think for me, I put all my butterflies and dragonflies and birds in one and then circles in one and squares. I actually have a square punch. Oh, I love this thing. It's, it's harder to use, but um, I have a couple of these. Back in the day, and I'll show you why. Um, well, I can't find it. That must be one of those things that's out in the garage still. Okay. Um, but I did I did want to show you something I found at the thrift store the other day. Oh, cool. I found this lace uh, <laughs> for a dollar. Oh, man. I never find really good buys on lace. I mean, that is like a ton of lace. It's cotton yeah, lace. and it looks like it's cotton lace. Yeah, it is. And then I found this for a dollar. She's getting ready to attach her third signature. Yeah. I found this that I was thinking about using, like you're talking about those. Uh huh. Um, and it's you know it's clear. Will the, drawers, so, will the drawers pull all the way out for you? Uh yeah. Okay, because that would be the thing I would want to be able to pull the drawer all the way out and sit it on my table so that I could dig through it. Yeah, that's the thing that made me buy it was the fact that they came all the way out. Uh-huh. Because I have a bunch of those other kind that don't. They're very annoying. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. Yep, yep. Uh -huh. Anyway, um, that really bugs me because I really thought that it was just uh, that that stuff should be in here. But I still haven't gotten everything back in here. So I guess that was one thing that I hadn't gotten back in here yet. Huh. I don't know. I'm sorry. Well, that's the way it works. Um, I was going to show you this. I love this square punch. Okay. See, this. Okay, go back. I, I did. Oh, okay. Sorry. Um, I have two of these. 
and they're different sizes. This is the inch and three quarters of an inch. And then I have, I think the other one is three quarters of an inch and half inch. Um, they kind of overlap. And these are old. They're from Memories. I think it's Creative Memories. That, you know, that was one of those uh, party plan things. Yeah. Um, I had to hunt up a dealer to find them. But the reason I like these, I reason I wanted it was because I wanted to do a big layout where you used other photographs and then made them one inch. But oh, look, you see, uh -huh. this is so cool because you can layer them. So it's see, kind of a mosaic kind of. Yeah, but it, then it's, um, just a minute, I'll bring it in a little closer. Oh, that's as close as it'll let me get. But um, see, that one is the inch and then the three quarters of an inch and it makes a border on it. That is cute. And it, it's real cute when you're doing um, uh, just cards or stuff. You know, and then, okay, so then I can put my butterfly on the corner of it, not on the square, but like that. Uh-huh. So, and that's even cute pieces that I cut, so. Yes, I love it. Mm-hmm. And I did that out of some scraps of the, um, this is a piece left over from getting ready to do a, a comp book, so. Mary, you better go. We better go. I was just going to say, I'm going to have to leave. <laughs> okay. Well, guys, we are really, really glad that you came. We are so pleased. And like I said, the information book for the next uh, month's book, the information video for next month's book is up on, will go up tomorrow morning. And um, Lisa, I'm, I'm doing the first one on the third and Lisa will be there on the 17th. I can't be there. Um, we're not going to do a guest this month because Lisa's going to have to do it by herself. Again. So. Anything? Oh, Lisa already popped out. So, okay, guys, she has to run. She's got to take um, her son to work. So, bye, everybody. Thanks so much. And uh, you all have a wonderful, wonderful afternoon. And do please post your books in group so that we can see your finished books if you made one. Bye-bye.